Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Vintage Breaks. This is Johnny Cinco coming to you live from a 459 here in central New Jersey. Uh, we're about to do our PSA show in about five minutes. Uh, before we do that, though, I have to get this um, done first. And I will record it so people can see who is in the contest. So, I'll try this before we go live on the PSA show. <clears throat> What's up, everyone? This is for an Allen and Ginter Progressive Redo from Friday night. Um, looks like we had a hiccup on Friday night, and we just had to do this over. Where first place is getting this Allen and Ginter box. Second place is getting a 2007 Artifacts baseball box. Third place will be getting a $25 Just Collect Cards eBay store credit. Fourth place is a $25 Vintage Break credit. In fifth place, you're getting a bundle of set spots, uh, which includes 73 football and 75 tops baseball, which I know is sold out, but we actually have a reserve spot. Um, so we're going to use that. So here we go. I'm going to show everyone the names. You got Jeff, Kevin, Joseph, well, Kevin Saltel, Kevin W, Joseph Cerullo, Dominic. Good luck to you guys. Uh, it's the top five. Top five. Okay, here we go. All right, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the tie five are, there we go, nine. I got nine. All right, so I got Kevin W. Oh, so, yeah, we're not going to figure it all out today. All right, so Kevin W, we're going to uh, send out. By the way, everything we did Friday night, that's going out too. This is just another batch. So whoever wasn't, uh, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what happened Friday night. Uh, but that list of winners, you're getting a box of this, a box of that. Um, it's just that we have to redo it. I don't think the name showed up. I think that's what it was. Hey, what's up, Bob? Um, okay. So that is the Kevin. looks like you swept almost everything. Kevin Sautel is the only person that's getting the, uh, artifacts. So Kevin Sautel. And then Kevin W. Looks like you got everything else, my friend. So you get in the LN Jitter box too. And uh, that is the redo. Hey, what's up, Mike? Uh, all right. I'm going to upload this to YouTube later today. All right, Kevin. Congrats, man. So Kevin W. Kevin W. Kevin W. And Kevin W. Nice sweet. Nice sweet. Alright. So that's out the way. Okay. Hey, Lou, you're back. Alright, cool. Sounds good. <clears throat> I think I'll be going on live <laughs> for a little bit. I think uh, Lay's on cell phone. Uh, he has some giveaways today. We got a lot of personals, lots and lots of personals, sort of personal packs. Let's do, we got one minute. All right, so, Cody Thompson, seven, six, okay. Nothing exciting. Oh, okay, presents. Did we do a presents pack last week? Okay, cool. 93 SP is mm -hmm. always good. And uh, let's do a 94 SP. Pack 6, pack 3, pack 6, pack 7, pack 8. Yep. Right. Okay.
Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Vintage Breaks here on the PSA show with Lou on the mic. What's up, Lou? <laughs> Our first time. And we cut it short because Lincoln's here. Hey. Uh, actually, he's about to get something real quick. But, uh, but yeah, we're, uh, we're all set. Um, uh, yesterday was our Super Tuesday. Uh, it was lots of fun. We were on from 4 p.m. to midnight. Um, and uh, well, we actually went off there like around 12, 20 ish. Um, oh, I, I worked all day. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, I worked a long day. Uh, all right, so Lane's ready. Uh, he'll tell you more about it. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, Lou, how are you? Oh, not too much, buddy. How was your weekend? Oh, I'm sorry. So who crapped out for you? Hmm. We, uh... Yeah, no, we certainly, uh, we can understand that. I've been on that end of it many times. Um, I did, however, reach a championship game, and of course, it's in my most important league. I think it's called the All Shore Football League, obviously Jersey, right? We uh, generally grew up down the shore, in in New Jersey. So uh, it's funny, my partner in the league, uh, Craig, this is a little shout out to you, bud. He's a, he's a little controversial. So I think that we're kind of the, uh, we're the enemy team. So it's like, you know, wrestling, right? You need a good and a bad. So the other team, everyone, you know, and to everyone, the, the commissioner, let's just say my partner has been a thorn in the commissioner's side. Lee, if you're listening, bud, we love you. Um, but uh, he tends to, let's say, just walk the line with the rules. I would say maybe, yeah, he, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a problem. But we are returning to the Super Bowl, and we already have one trophy. And I can tell you, the best part of if you win the Super Bowl for your fantasy football league, at least for us, forget about the money, right? Forget about even bragging to your friends. It's about when you go out to dinner with all of you guys, you're having a bunch of drinks, people start embarrassing each other, and you got this big, really ugly, obnoxious trophy sitting in front of you the whole meal. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, local enough, meaning, you know, northern Jersey, Manhattan, that kind of stuff. Um, thanks for joining us, David, Bob. Mike, hope all is well today. This is the Vintage Breaks PSA show. I see Johnny Five got us kicked off. Appreciate that. So pretty amazing what's going on in the uh, in the baseball world. I was uh, doing a little research before the show today. So can you imagine? Uh, so Bob, if you are on YouTube, you will not be able to hear Lou. If you'd like to hear Lou, you can do so by going over to the PSA Facebook page. And of course, the added incentive, which... Any prizes we give away from 4.30 to 5.30, excuse me today, exclusively on the PSA Vintage Break Show can only be won from folks replying and answering and commenting on the PSA Facebook page. Uh, John, when you get a moment, if you could open that up for me so I can check that out, please. Thank you. Um, so check this out, uh, Lou. Let's do a little research. This is how powerful grading and the brand of PSA is. 31 days ago, Right before Mr. Harold Baines was elected to the Hall of Fame, he had a PSA 9 sell on eBay for $12.50. A 9, so albeit it's not a rare grade. Certainly a 9 is a good grade, I'm not suggesting that, but it's not rare in a 9 by, by no means. And in fact, if anyone wants to look up the pop report, you can do so at psacard.com. Thanks for joining us, Mark. Once again, Mark and anyone else, appreciate you joining us, of course, on youtube.com slash vintage breaks. But if you'd like to kick it with Lou, and get some freebies and be in on the action, you need to join us and watch on the PSA Facebook page, which of course you can find at facebook.com slash PSA card. So to get back to the power of PSA, 31 days ago, Harold Baines PSA 9, 1981 top sells for $12.50. The last two that have sold, $191, $217. Can you believe that? Well, it's a very good question. It's a very good question. Hey, Alex, how are you? Thanks for joining us, Heather, Wesley, Shane, Ariel, and everyone else. Russ, Kev. Um, so I think that it's a supply and demand. So, for example, there are, there literally, there are folks, there are collectors out there 
and to be fair, if I was a Hall of Famer, I wouldn't be a collector. I wouldn't be ashamed to admit this. But there's folks that woke up the morning after Lee Smith and Harold Baines were inducted. And as much as they hated the fact that they were inducted, they disagreed vehemently. They called local talk show radio, right? They sent death threats, you know, who knows, right? Uh, to local reporters that those two shouldn't be in. The reality of it is they still want their rookie card in high grade for their Hall of Fame registry. So the answer lies in the data loop. I like to see, and I don't know the answer, how many folks in the PSA um, uh, set registry, right, the collector registry, the team registry, how many of them are in the Rookie Hall of Fame registry? So if I said to you there were only three collectors on there, I would tell you this is a very, very short-term spike. But if there's, for example, I don't know, 50 collectors or 100 collectors that might cover that card in a PSA 9, even if there's been several hundred graded, they probably, uh, in large part, reside in folks' collections. And so, therefore, now you have the, the, the bubble and, and the increase in price because of the demand. I don't think it's going to be a $500 card. The card's from 1981 tops and a nine. But the 10, I think that's where the real, you know, swing in the price is going to be, uh, you know, potentially because I don't know the pop. I suppose it's very low. And for those that are truly at the, you know, the highest end of the PSA collecting spectrum, they're going to want that card. Sure. No, you know, it's really funny, Lou. I think that that's what's so great about collecting. If you decided that, you know what, who cares it's a rookie? I just really like Harold Baines, and I want to own all of his other cards. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, especially if you don't care about the financial aspect of it. However, however, time has proven that, in general, the rookie cards for almost all of the players from the major four sports, barring an extreme rarity, and there are, there are, there are uh, instances of, of course, exceptions, uh, to this rule. But in large part, folks just generally clamor to owning the rookie card. But if you were truly a collector and you didn't care about the money, oh my goodness, I would buy 10 second years. I'd buy his 93 Fives Refractor if he had one. You know, stuff like that that's fun. And who cares if it's not a rookie or not? You just have to enjoy it. Yes. Yep, 100%. Um, and to be fair, right, um, you know, folks, they want to they wanna have, you know, whether it be the best or they'd like to be top three, on the PSA set registry, um, or in this case, the PSA Hall of Fame registry. And so for them, that's a big deal. You know, maybe they put a lot of time, effort, and money into a collection that's now short, believe it or not, two cards come that, excuse me, Tuesday or Wednesday morning, whenever you woke up and you found out those two are elected. Um, and for some some people, and someone just mentioned, thanks very much, Mark, that believe it or not, a, a PSA 8 of Harold Baines went for $70. And that seems crazy to me because, you know, there's a lot of 1981 Tops baseball unopened product out there. You could pull a Baines. It's got a decent chance of grade and high, just a matter where the centering is. Um, but listen, you know, we're a society, Lou, where folks want instant gratification. So if you want that card in your set registry or in your Hall of Fame registry right away, you got to pay the, you know, got to pay the piper. Sure. So um, what I've generally found for rookies, even if they've, uh, in a situation like that, um, their major league rookie is the most desirable. And if they switched, let's say, teams in the first year, um, I think that if it was me, I would prefer to own the card of, uh, you know, the team that he's now playing with for all that time. Uh, yeah, listen, exactly. Um, you know, that being said, uh, there's some folks, and I'm not suggesting that they're right or wrong. I just think it's interesting because I love baseball cards. Um, and so do many of the folks that watch our uh, PSA Vintage Break show. Um, I think that minor league cards represent not just a potential investment opportunity, but if you just enjoy collecting and, and the hunt, they're actually not that easy to find. Absolutely. So um, what I'd like to do is, uh, you know, to ask our first trivia question today, and I'd love it to be about Lee Smith or Harold Baines. I don't know if you have something in mind, uh, Lou. I do have something in mind if you don't, but I have to check it out real quick. You know, as you would say to me, Lou, don't get too upset about it. Um, it's a hall of stories. 
So, uh, you know, the reality of it is Harold Baines played for a long time, right? He got a lot of hits, more than Donnie Baseball, and I want Donnie Baseball to be in the Hall of Fame. And I remember being a somewhat young kid, and my dad just had the most fun um, torturing me about Donnie Baseball. And he would say, Lee, Donnie Baseball is not making the Hall of Fame. And he would really stick it to me and say, he's going to make the Hall of Toilet. And that might have been a little extreme. You know, he's really just trying to ruffle some feathers. Um, but uh, I do think that um, at least for, for collectors, for fans of the game, I think it's kind of interesting to ask who's next, whether right or wrong, right? You don't have to, I'm not debating that, but I do think that's kind of fun to ask. No, Magley's not in. Wow, this is, yep. Uh, no, listen, so I agree with you. Um, I'm going to ask the question right now. It's pretty straightforward. Um, there are 376, that's amazing, PSA 9s graded on the Harold Baines rookie. So realize, once again, that card just sold for $200. Uh, same card 31 days ago sells for 12 bucks. That's a big movement. Uh, I don't care what market you're in. How many PSA 10s are there? So, of course, if you'd like to know the correct answer, go to PSACard.com, look it up in the pop report. First person to name that correctly in the PSA Facebook chat is going to win a $10 break credit to VintageBreaks.com. I know the answer a little, and the only other people that know the answer, of course, are PSACard.com, where you can find it at their pop report. All right. Oh, I remember him. He was, if you had to say, right, he was far more, he had, he had flashes of dominance where you can't really say that about Baines. Yes. Played for a long time. So it looks like we have the answer. Shane, you are correct. Bob, unless I'm wrong, I just looked. It looked like it was 33. So Shane, you are correct. There's 33 PSA 10s. 376 nines, which is incredible, uh, considering just the, right? You know, you got to figure if you weren't, you were buying that car for 200 bucks. When you look at the pop report, you see 31 days earlier, it sells for, you know, 12 bucks. But like I said, society of instant gratification, you got to have it for the, for the set registry. And to be fair, I don't know the dates. Maybe there's a cutoff soon for awards. And I know that's real important to folks uh, that are very active on the registry. Um, you know, so it, it's really hard to say. Uh, absolutely. I was thinking about that the other day, actually. I wonder if I could put together a little portfolio for Crosby of, you know, guys you thought had no chance in heck today, but, you know, as we just saw a 20 times jump, maybe I can earn that for my son. I'd be proud to say that, you know, do that, right? Well, listen, yeah, it's probably, uh, probably a lot easier said than done. Um, so, No, I believe I believe there were candidates, um, and then you know it whittled down it whittled down from there. Um, you know it's kind of funny, right? I think you just get a bunch of us to go to the bar on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> you probably get just as good results, right? Long time. And to be fair, and once again, not knocking how dominant Lee Smith potentially was, and I do remember him a little bit, uh, you know, from growing up as a baseball fan. Um, he was, I mean, he was, he was very dominant, but I mean, think about how much the role of this, that position has changed. I mean, there's got to be a handful of guys that have probably broken his save record. That's pretty crazy. Um, I'm checking out right now something else, which we'll talk about in a minute. I want to bring up a holiday special that we have here, Lou. We've never done this before. So uh, we really appreciate everyone hanging out, of course, tuning in and watching us every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the PSA Vintage Break Show, of course, found right here uh, on Facebook. So if you have your phone, you know, the boss isn't looking, you want to take it out, check us out, you can do that. If you need to do it on your desktop, you very simply go to facebook.com slash PSA card, and you get to see my mug every Wednesday at 4.30. Lou, I know they'd like to see you, but we haven't figured out a way to get you get you on here. <laughs> um, 
No, listen, you do a great job. We sincerely appreciate it. We couldn't have done that this year. We should talk afterwards uh, or, or tomorrow about the schedule for the next couple of weeks. I know uh, we probably both have a few things going on. So we'll figure that out. We'll certainly let everyone know uh, the schedule on the PSA Facebook page as to when the next show is going to be. So this is a little holiday thank you, Lou. Um, I know we have some folks who are watching. Clearly, they've uh, not only watched our program before, both on here and, of course, on YouTube.com slash Vintage Breaks. Um, and they've, they've, in some cases, even bought from us. But we have some folks, and maybe they're new today to the show, or they've been watching us for several weeks or longer. And, you know, they just haven't pulled the trigger for one reason or another, right? No extra, you know, no extra uh, money right now. It's holiday time. Or they weren't really sure if they wanted to. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make it very, very easy for 10 new customers. That's right. 10 new customers of Vintage Breaks who are watching the PSA show right now. Of course, we will, uh, it's 446, so I'll check my email afterwards in this evening. The first 10 folks who email me directly to Leighton, L-E-I-G-H-T-O-N at justcollect.com, and of course, I'll put that in the chat, are going to get a $10 break credit to vintagebreaks.com just to check us out. Once again, you do need to be a, big, um, a new customer, so if you bought from us before, you are not eligible. But if you've watched us and you enjoy watching us here on the PSA show, and maybe even caught an episode or two of Johnny Five or Mike. By the way, Mike has a new contest, Guess That Gum. He's really, I think he's lost his mind. But you know what? I'm hoping in like, what is it, 11 days, the end of the year resets. And, and potentially, it was great. I mean, I tell you, I uh, poo-pooed it at first. People love it. It's really, uh, it's really pretty funny. Um, so we're going to be doing uh, some more promotions like that. Um, so once again, 10 folks, the first 10 folks who are not already customers of Vintage Breaks, just drop me an email, and by this time tomorrow, you'll have a $10 break credit that you can use to our website, VintageBreaks.com. Yep, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. So, Lou, you know, we gave this out last week, and I tell you, there were some folks that really wished they had won this book, and I, I really think that, I don't know, you know, if Tom's protecting the, you know, the stash that they have up there, but I got to tell you, Good. They should be giving these away. People love these books. Um, we had these on the, or I had one of these on the coffee table for a recent uh, friend's holiday party. And one of the first books they picked up was this book. And of course, they opened it, and it's really funny. They said, uh, who signed that? I never heard of him. <laughs> and I, of course, I explained, uh, you know, who, him and Ellen R, and I, I went, you know, right, right like that. Yeah, that's an exactly. So um, what we're going to do here is... I think this is pretty fun. Um, now, you're going to help us, Lou. They've written a book about T206s, right? They've written a book about Cracker Jacks. Clearly, I'm holding that. They, yes. Now, what, ah, uh, well, listen, you know, uh, we'll save that for a different episode. Maybe that'll be like the real world of Vintage Breaks and Great American Collectible Show. We'll have like one episode in January, and that'll be one of the topics that we'll cover. Um, so uh, you all, you folks also did, when I say uh, you folks, I believe Tom and Ellen, and if not mistaken, you know, collaborated with Joe Orlando, you guys did a book on uh, baseball bats. Great. So what I'd like to do today is we're going to solicit comments. Once again, you can only win this book by commenting on the PSA Facebook page during our show. Uh, there is no link, Michael, but I did write it, and you do, uh, do need to email direct, Leighton at JustCollect.com. Um, L-E-I-G-H-T-O-N at JustCollect.com. So once again, getting back to this, Lou, I'd like folks to comment and let us know, so we can pass the information on to Tom and Ellen, what subject should they write a book on next? So it could be T205s. It could be 52 Tops, right? It could be 33 Gaudi. It could be unopened. You know, who knows? Um, we'd love to hear from you. I know Tom and Ellen would appreciate it. We're going to give away one of these books at the end of the show today at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so about 40 minutes. All you need to do to qualify, Lou, is share a comment, let us know your thought, and Lou, let's collaborate and pick one of those folks at the end of the show today. Oh, you do? I like it. You know, it's funny, uh, Rick, uh, I don't want to say his last name on air, is a good customer of Just Collect, and um, he's a big fan of uh, Three Stooges and has many of the highest graded uh, Stooges cards to date by PSA. 
what topic is next. All right, John, so I'd like to open up some stuff. I got first off back here. Great. All right. Whoop. So I wanted to show off just a few things, Lou, before we uh, before we started opening some stuff. Check this out, right? 2014, you're like, wow, uh, what is that? Yeah, this is a high-end product put out by our friends at Panini. A little shout-out to Tracy Hackler. This is Flawless Football 2014. So, of course, you can pull a Jimmy Garoppolo uh, rookie, Derek Carr. Um, but then also, apparently, Panini has, uh, you know, some of the all-time greats, uh, you know, in there. They sign, like, very limited edition cards. Um, so, for the first time ever, that is now on our site, vintagebreaks.com. We've never had any super high-end um, modern football like that. This is probably the closest we've had. We've only had this box one other time. Believe it or not, Lou, this is 1998 Playoff Contenders, and this could contain the single best – hey, what's up, Davey? The single best Peyton Manning rookie in existence. So it's signed, and the last PSA 10, Gem Mint, sold for over north of $50,000 at auction. Yep, you can get a signed rookie out of there. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm looking at some of the comments, Lou. Certainly don't mean to uh, get off track here, but some great comments about what the book should be about. Uh, so I see one on ticket stubs. Uh, you know, that's pretty neat. Certainly packs would be great. My good buddy Bobby from Canada uh, has done one on hockey, and you can never equal what he did. It, it, his efforts are unparalleled. Um, the history of tops. These are some uh, These are fun. some fun responses. Please continue. Um, absolutely. So we'll show off some more stuff in just a few minutes. I did want to open some personal packs. Um, Lou, yesterday was an incredible, incredible day. It was a big promo. We gave away a few thousand bucks worth of stuff uh, at midnight last night. Um, all folks had to do was pick up just one entry uh, at VintageBreaks.com. Um, we gave away a Topps Triple Threads box. Um, we opened up in a free um, break, uh, you know, if certain numbers were achieved. We opened up a 2014 Panini. I believe it was National Treasures Baseball Box. And in that, you know, you could have pulled a Mookie Betts sign rookie. We did get a George Springer sign rookie um, that was numbered to 99. We got a George Brett numbered, I don't even know the name of it, numbered to five. And, you know, I was told it could be worth a few hundred bucks. It was a lot of fun, that's for sure. Yep. So we got a couple packs here. We're going to save this one uh, for just a minute. That has become very popular. We've now become a political show uh, with the 72 Tops U.S. Presidents. We talked about that last week. A product that we just introduced yesterday, 1994 SP Baseball. So you potentially could get, Lou, an Alex Rodriguez rookie. This is going out to Jeff R. This is pack number three. I'm sorry, yeah, pack number three. Um, potentially you can get an Alex Rodriguez rookie. There's also some really interesting inserts in here. Of One of them is called a hollow view set, Lou, and then they made a die cut red hollow view set. Well, one of those cards, if you remember, 1994, was a time period that Mr. Michael Jordan thought he was going to play baseball. So there's a few uh, Michael Jordan cards that are possible in this set, but the big card, of course, is the Alex Rodriguez foil. In a PSA 10, Lou, sells for about 25 hunch, but get this, and you're going to see in a minute when we, uh, oh, I see the uh, I see the foil card. Let's, uh, let's switch around the pack for just a moment. So, yeah, these are. So this Billy Wagner, uh, these are not that easy, Lou. You get one die cut card per pack. Every card in the set has a die cut. Billy Wagner is a decent uh, major leaguer. So check this out. Our friends Brent and the crew at PWCC, a few weeks back on eBay, this style, so once again, die cut of the Alice Rodriguez and a PSA 10, excuse me, sold for over 22 thousand dollars at auction unbelievable so that really prompted me to introduce the product uh you know to our viewers because it's a great price point meaning you could buy a card for three dollars and fifty cents and of course uh that price is delivered uh so you know if you've been to the post office it costs about three bucks to ship a package so there's really not you know we can't even cover one of the meals let alone paying for six people to eat here one night Jeez. um do you remember this prospect brooks kishnik I got to tell you, I'm fairly certain I got a 12 count in my parents' house. I'm still holding on to that thought that he's going to become something. Nope. 
best case is he's going to do something controversial on social media. Um, or they find out that something was in the background of the card, like they did recently in the Mark Jackson 1990 hoops cards, kind of crazy, um, which caused a spike uh, in the value of it. <laughs> I think that's great. That really is the, you know, T Todd Van Poppel, right? Phil Plantier from your beloved socks. Sure. Now, did they? Um, uh, I would say Anthony Young, but no, you're not talking about him. Oh, Greg Jeffries. Oh, how can we forget Greg Jeffries? Of course. That certainly would be uh, like the subject of, I think, talk show radio for a while, Lou. You would definitely get some play on that, I think. Pack number 25. Wow. That's pretty amazing, John. We just got this product a few weeks back. Mm -hmm. Or we started listing it, actually, to be fair. Um, and this is for Tim H. Great. Oh, and don't worry. We're going to have a few other giveaways, but I want to get some comments in first on this one. Um, just to let everyone know, before we open up this presidents, Lou, we're going to give everyone a shot on the show today. We're going to give them out for free. Maybe you can think of a good trivia question. Hint, hint. Our department's been, we've had a rough year. You know, next year the trivia department is, we've sent them out for training. We're going to be all right. Um, so we're going to open up live on air. I'd like to give these out. A 1981 Topps Baseball Grocery Cellar Pack and a 1982 Topps Baseball Grocery Cellar Pack. Of course, giving folks a chance to pull their very own Harold Baines rookie. Or Lee Smith rookie. Now, two days ago, I would have said you can get a Cal Ripken rookie out of here. Now, apparently, I talk about Lee Smith. Crazy world. 1982 and 1981. All right, good luck to Tim. This is your 1972 Tops personal U.S. President's Wax Pack. All right, we'll deal with the gum last there. I have no idea who Edmund Muskie, Edmund Muskie is, other than he apparently was a candidate for the 72 U.S. president race. Yep. Love this set. Look at the original art. I'll, I'll believe you. Let's see. Uh, Muskie was admitted to the Massachusetts bar. Wow, he practiced law in Waterville, Maine. Lou, you are my, you know, you need a lifeline. You are the guy I'm calling. <laughs> um, and just so I don't forget, we do have, like, I mean, when I say an incredible, we have multiple shoots of packs to be opening. So Johnny Five uh, is going to be live starting at 5.30 for a couple hours today. Try to put a dent in some of that unopened. Calvin Coolidge, certainly know that. Check out that card. Extremely sharp, fairly well centered, just a hair off left to right. Gorgeous. I mean, imagine someone painted, you know, this very, you know, uh, picture you see here on a tiny little two by nothing, and then they made a set based on those cards. Crazy. Yes. Yep. Here you go, JFK. Very cool. Yep, I would get that graded, Tim, if I were you. Looks like a solid eight. Happy to do that on the house for you, bud, if you'd like. I'll have you talk to uh, Johnny Five and the crew. William Henry Harrison. You got it, Tim. Wow, this is another nice card. Got a couple of nice ones out of this set. So really, this set comes down to the um, centering. And let's see. I mean, Mike will get all excited. You know, you got a 72 piece here with some nice fringe mold. I mean, for him, that's like, you know, that's a dream come true getting gum like that. All right, Franklin Pierce, very nice pack, Tim. Make sure I label that we uh, get Mr. JFK graded. So, Lou, I'm going to take a page out of uh, Mikey's book here, and I think we're going to do a Guess That Gum for the first person to guess it correctly. Of course, not this disgusting thing right here. Um, we'll put that aside. I don't know what he's doing with it these days. 
So we got, I mean, as you can see, he's literally been archiving gum. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, Tim. Uh, this is all old gum that we've got out of packs that we broke. <laughs> so I'm going to pull one at random. Oh, yeah, no, it's it's like, you know, it's like the Dewey Decimal System for gum. I like that. By the way, I just rattled it off. I just rattled it off. Um... Let's see what we got here. I want to pull. I want to pull a good one, but you know, not too difficult. So the next person to to nail this, ugh, oh, this is downright dirty. Oh my god! All right. So this is great. Yeah, guess that gum. First person to guess this gum, the year. Uh, hopefully, I didn't put it on camera. And if I did, someone's gonna get it quickly. On Facebook is going to win the 1981 Topps baseball cello pack, and I will open it right after. What better than that? Uh, what better way to get instant gratification? All you have to do is nail what year this gum is from. Very close, Galen. Thank you. Bobby, you're very close. Mark, you're in the vicinity. Alex, you are in the vicinity. Bob, you might have nailed it. Bob, Bob, met, yes, Bob a lot, regular of the program. You've nailed it. You know, it'd be funny if we could have the studio audience where in order to complete the transaction to get the person their free pack, someone from the studio audience has to choose it. Now, we're not going to do that to our poor staff today. I mean, after all, the holidays is next week. We don't want to cause any problems. But, folks, I don't know if you're listening up here. We're going to have to get some, we're gonna have to get some folks in the studio audience here at home. Um, all right. So, Bob, we're going to hook you up, buddy. That is, in fact, a 1980 Tops vital piece of gum from a Guess That Gum episode. Oh, it's just so, like, just so wrong. Just so wrong. Um, all right, Bob, we're going to hook you up. We're going to be opening a 1981 Topps Baseball Cello. Don't forget, guys, we'll be giving away, and gals, we'll be giving away some more stuff during the show today. Potentially another guest that gum. As we know, Mikey just loves it. 81 Topps Cello. This is going to go to Bob M. Thank you, bud. Happy holidays to you and yours. Good luck. We'll open that right now. Be fun to pull Harold Baines right on here. Not the easiest thing to do as it's a fairly large set. Of course, baseball being what about 700 cards or so. You know, I, I think we might have that could be better than guess that gum. You know, every week we take you know one nomination, right? You know, whether it be we cast ballots on Facebook or Twitter, and we do a nice cross promotion. Lou, we talk about your serious show. We talk about vintage breaks, and then you know by the end of the year we're gonna have 52 just god awful names of people that probably cost us like incredible amounts of money when we were kids. You know, I thought Todd Van Poppel was going to be great. You know, who did who did you think was going to be great that didn't turn out? Yeah. Oh, sure, I remember. Absolutely. Um, I bought a lot of Tom Flash Gordon, who I like. You know, I actually think, you know, I think he's a cool guy. But I remember my dad saying, what are you, crazy, Leighton? You don't buy pitchers. And of course, had I bought, let's say, Greg Maddox instead of Tom Gordon, I don't know if my dad would be saying that. Hey, Mark, thanks for joining us, bud. So we'll see what we can get out of here. Really be fun to get a Baines. I feel terrible for him. I wish I was doing that right now. My wife is feeding me steak and shrimp. That'd be great. <laughs> I just realized that, Lou. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. I love it. Um, all right. So we got uh, Larry Boa. That's what my hair looks like just about now. Um, I really need a hair. No, it's crazy. I need a haircut very badly. Uh, unfortunately, it did not work out uh, before today's show. But tomorrow. Hal McRae. Rick Cerrone, try to fire through these so we can get through some more packs. Dan O, happy birthday, bud. <laughs> happy birthday, you're the next contestant to eat gum from 1981. Thank you. All right, let's see if we can get a Bainsy here. Yes, there is a, I tell you what. We're going to give a $10 break credit, Lou. Great, great uh, comments. To the next person who can name the set and the year 
that the San Diego chicken actually has a card because I happen to know off the top of my head. That's how much useless information I have. It's great. I don't have to Google it. Yes, first person to nail that. Uh, I'm not sure if you're able to chat, uh, Lou, if you're able to type something in the chat, but we want to make sure folks have a uh, fair chance here. First person to name the year. Ah, oh, Bobby nailed it. Bob, you're on that. Joe, you were close. Bobby Fox. There we go. <laughs> Good. So, Bob, you're going to get a $10 break credit. We'll take care of that afterwards. Uh, we still have the Cracker Jack book to give away at the end of the show today. Of course, that's going to be a lot of fun. And we'll be giving away a 1982 Topps baseball cello pack in a few minutes. We're looking for a Lee Smith rookie and some guy named Cal Ripken, I heard. Um, all right. Gary T means, unfortunately, we didn't hit a Baines. Landon, I'm not sure, bud. Check the break schedule. If it's not on there, we'll uh, figure that out for you after the PSA show. I'll be happy to help you. Oh, I literally none. It could have been, yeah, no, no I have no idea who that is. Uh, so this is your free 81 solo, Bob. Uh, M, Bob Fox, you got the $10 break credit coming to you. I got to file back the 80 Tops baseball gum because I feel like Mikey comes in and he knows if not all of the gum is here. And I don't want to, I don't want to disrupt. So I really don't. It's a nice assortment. So, uh, Josh is in. You know, we probably could be experts on the subject. Um, so, Josh is asking, and I think it's a great question. Um, hey, this must be on YouTube there uh, to give stuff away. We actually do give stuff away on YouTube all the time. With the exception of the one hour we do our PSA Vintage Break Show every Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. We then exclusively give away um, whatever free stuff that particular hour uh, on uh, the PSA network on their Facebook page, which of course is very easy to find at facebook.com slash PSA card. Don't forget, it's important, subscribe to their page so that way you'll get notified when we're going to go live, when the Great American Collectible Show goes live. And of course, they have the big Jimmy Fund uh, fundraiser coming up. Have the No One Ryan set aside for us, Lou, so you just give me the word and I'll send that out to you. Yep, absolutely. Um, okay, so let us move on here. I'd like to open up Huh. Well, I'll tell you what, if that's true, and that very well could be the case, whoever was first saying 1982, which was Joe Cirillo, uh, we're going to give him, you know, the, the, Joe, I got to tell you, you get 10 bucks also, buddy. I were just, I, you know what it is, Lou? I remember the 84 Donner San Diego chicken card so well that, you know, for me, like, there's only one chicken card. All right, guys, lay it on us, please. Do us a favor. Go to PSACard.com. We would like to know the pop report on the San Diego Chickens rookie. That's it. That's the bottom line. Make my day. That's hysterical. Um, okay, so, Jill, you're hooked up uh, as well, and uh, we appreciate everyone uh, being interactive and helping each other out. Wendy, I'm going to type in my email for you once again, folks. The first 10 people that email me directly, Leighton at JustCollect.com, I just typed it in, are going to get, and that are not a customer, God bless you, um, that are not a customer of Vintage Breaks already that have never made a purchase. We're happy to give the first 10 folks today watching from our PSA Vintage Break show a $10 break credit to VintageBreaks.com. You just sent, need to send me an email, and in the next 24 hours, we'll email you back, let you know you're confirmed, give you the code, and you'll off. You'll be off and running uh, checking out the site. This, of course, is one of our favorite packs, Lou. Isn't it crazy to think you could get a PSA 10 Derek Jeter out of this pack? No, not literally. You right? You have to get the card and get it graded. But you could get a high enough graded Derek Jeter, which, you know, you get really lucky and you get a 10. The last one sold for $100,000 at auction. It's pretty wild. You just got this little pack sitting here. You don't know where it's been. Uh-huh. Baseball pack, and this is number one third. Wow, we've opened up, Lou, that's crazy. We've opened up 130 of these packs. You know, um, my good buddy, and actually your good buddy as well, Rich Miller from sportscollectorsdaily.com, a little shout out for him. So he's been doing some really fun stuff with data 
uh, from PSA. And what I mean is, you know, he'll say, hey, uh, right, the Jimmy Brown rookie is real obvious it's worth a lot of money. But did you realize that the fourth year, you know, is even harder to get in high grade than the rookie? I'm making it up, of course. Um, and so for us, we really feel as though that there's something really uh, interesting, if nothing else, just the sheer numbers, keeping track in our system, the way that we, um, you know, inventory everything and the way that we uh, keep our accounting, the fact that we know at any given time, if we've had the SKU before, so in this case, 1993 SP Baseball, that we've opened up 129 packs of this before this pack today. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, another fun little fact about vintage breaks, we are closing. Yes, but clearly we're opening up some of them as we do keep track. Uh, we'll see what we can turn out uh, you know, from this one. There's generally one foil card per pack. That's the big money card. Um, Derek Jeter, of course, is the most expensive. Jeff R., this is for you, bud. Good luck. Um, there, of course, is a potential for um, Chipper Jones, the Manny Ramirez card, even the Carlos Delgado. Uh, bring some decent money in PSA 10 because they are foil cards of guys that had decent careers. Well, we can find out the pop report, but they weren't, um, Lou, they didn't make any of these cards from this year, 1993 SP, with serial numbers. So we wouldn't actually be able to know. No. Ken Griffey Jr. I do know that this uh, these boxes are very desirable, certainly very, uh, you know, hot because of the potential for the high-grade Jeter. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping to meet him. Uh, one of these days, our good buddy Jeff Rosenberg from TriStar has recently bought Junior, uh, brought Junior under contract, and I saw that he's signing. So I have my to-do list to reach out to Jeff. Yep, absolutely. It's great. I'll tell you, I would love nothing more than to open a pack of like 89 Upper Deck with Griffey. I think that would be a blast. All right, Jeff, we're... Uh, coming upon the portion of the pack that, you know, could yield a foil card. We're hoping that foil is Derek Jeter. I remember that. Too. I mean, you know, listen, I know people knock the All-Star game and certainly don't have as much time, uh, you know, personally to watch that sort of thing. But I just used to love the beginning of it when they would announce all the players. Wow, that's nice. Roger Cedeno. You know, wasn't an, uh, wasn't a great player, but he did have a major league career. These are not easy to find in reasonable condition. This one looks decent. Could easily been uh, could have easily been the case. A couple more cards coming out of the 1993 SP pack number 130 for our buddy Jeff R, who I believe is from the Midwest. Having lunch with a guy on Friday, uh, a vendor of uh, Just Collect and Vintage Breaks, uh, he'll be in the area for some family, so we're going to have lunch on Friday afternoon downtown New Brunswick. Looking forward to it. Uh, he's actually from the Syracuse area. So I asked him the other day, I said, uh, has it snowed yet this winter? And I felt like an idiot right afterwards. He goes, Leighton, it snows typically a few times every week. And up here, we don't miss a beat because, you know, we're used to it and uh, we have the facilities to manage that. Yeah, no, uh, I'm hoping the snow stays away, although I heard it may snow on Christmas Eve or Christmas, which is awesome. Yeah. I think it's Bob Malott, but then again, I'm just guessing. I'm not a hunter. So I got to tell you, I'm in the market for a chicken rookie. Now that I know, like, you know, if it was a pop one, I'm not going to put a bounty on a chicken rookie. But you have, you have 10, <laughs> I can't keep, I can't keep a straight face until I tried. Oh my goodness. So you have 10 chicken rookies with no trademark and you have eight chicken rookies with the trademark. I'll be honest with you. Give me chicken or give me death. I don't need a trademark. It doesn't matter to me. If anyone out there has a chicken, I would not only like to buy it, but I'm going to tweet about it. I might even give it away after I buy it. I think it would be a lot of fun. You're, you're right. I actually need... 
I need chicken second year. And his final card, which just like, you know, like the 69 Mantle, like why does everyone love it? Because it's nice. You get to see all the stats on the back of his card. You know, a nice little neat place and as a kid. I'm sure that's really fun. So for the chicken, you get to see his illustrious, albeit brief, three-year career. I wonder what the stats are on the back of the 84 Donner's chicken card. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea. You know, like, haven't eaten a hamburger since birth, right? Or, you know, I don't know, like, fun stuff, fun stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, listen, exactly. Um, all right, so before we give away this 1982 Topps baseball cello pack, I'm going to show off a few things we just added to the site. This was added yesterday. This is a first series 1961 Topps baseball cello pack. The reason why this is important, other than the obvious, it being unopened and from 1961, this series is loaded. Check out VintageBreaks.com and see who's possible. But amongst the highlights, you got Roger Maris, the Ron Santo rookie. There's also, uh, and I love these. I've been talking about these over the last few shows. And I'm convinced of this. So this is the series. The first series, Lou, uh, potentially has the leader cards. And as we talked about on some of those leader cards, you have Maze and Aaron. There's a mantle on a home run leader card. Um, and I've just, I've been looking at the numbers, prices, and pop reports. To me, unless you are, you know, saying, hey, I need to own a 1964 Top Ten Karen card, maybe you're completing the set or your run, I would almost rather have Aaron, Clemente, and two other, you know, Willie McCovey, and, and let's say another star of the day. Um, I just think it's a really fun way to own uh, you know, great cards at maybe a fraction or, or a share of the price that they would have been if it was just by themselves. Something weird about that to me. Maybe a value, if, if, if you will. Uh, this pack we just put up. No, I my, my jaw is dropping. I'm reading that. Now, listen... Listen, if, if I was if, if I was tweeting right now, I would tweet a PSA, and I would want to know exactly as just asked Lou, who, who was even the chicken? Like, was was the chicken in 82 the same chicken as 84? It's like wrestling. You know, I've heard uh, Ultimate Warrior was one of my favorite, and I've heard there were like three Ultimate Warriors. Well, well, but the the same thinking. How many chickens were were there? How many? I gotta think, but you know what? Um, the San Diego chicken, if I'm not mistaken, was very popular. Is it possible they got like an endorsement deal? You know, like, yeah, he, you know, he was the hardest working chicken in show business. Worked 359 days a year, or something like that. Um, 1979 Tops Hockey Pack was just added to the site a few minutes before going live on our PSA Vintage Break Show. These usually do not last long. Of course, you are going for the great one, Mr. Wayne Gretzky Rookie. The last PSA 10 Gem Mint Wayne Gretzky Rookie sold at auction for about $100,000. Hey, Jeff, thanks for joining us. Really? I gotta tell you, that trumps anything else I learned today that was new. I gotta tell you, Joe, I'm not even asking a question on the 82 cello. I'm gonna give this 82 cello to you. I'm gonna open it on camera for you. You're gonna have to contact us, uh, late at justcollect.com, so you can claim it. I gotta, that's unbelievable. Just made my day, lose day, it's fantastic. Uh, if I can get some card savers, uh, Robert, please. This is going out to you, Joe. That's hysterical. It really has his name? Chicken was hatched on April 9th, 74. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is great. No, no, you never know. You really don't. I didn't know, yeah, I didn't know any of this was going to be happening upon us today, that's for sure. Okay, Jeff, this is your free pack. Thanks for hanging with us today. Um, I do have a few more freebies to give away if we have time. I try to keep the theme. So even though the Fleer is worth a little bit less, Lee Smith has an 82 Fleer rookie, which, of course, now the interest is picked up.
Oh, Bobby Ojeda. Certainly remember him. Hey, Earl, thanks for joining us. Earl's World of Collecting, helping to promote vintage breaks across a variety of collecting networks on Facebook. Here we go. Solid ball player, Dave Concepcion. And speaking of Reds, a little shout out again to Mr. Pete Rose. Love the fact that even all these years later, he's talking about, never met me before, certainly didn't know our staff. And he's talking about, you know, the success of his career and acknowledging, you know, Concepcion, Bench, of course, and Joe Morgan and all the other greats he played with, saying he doesn't know that many other guys that played with like 11 other Hall of Famers. Unbelievable. Oh, I love that. No, he's not wrong. Absolutely. Best second baseman, Betts catcher. Um, uh, well, best third baseman because he eventually played with Schmitty. So, yeah. No, it's really cool. He certainly appreciated uh, who he played with and where he's from. I don't like that a lot. By the way, there's some nice cards coming out of this pack. I know we're not talking too much about it, but if you don't look well-centered, you hit a couple of Hall of Famers, including that Rod Carew. Ron, Johnny P is Johnny Five, a.k.a. Johnny Five. He is our office manager here at Just Collect, and, of course, known as Johnny Five when he breaks. My question for John is, who's sitting across the room from us, I'm wondering at this point, when he goes out to, to meet people, you know, like it's Friday night, right? You go to the bar... You know, with, you're with your girl. Like, you see, you go, hey, man, I'm J5. What's up? I don't know. I wouldn't put it past them. We'd have to ask him, John, What is there any a time? And it's okay if you had a few drinks at the time. Do you ever say to any of your buddies, family, I'm J5. What's going on? Uh, I say JP. Ah, I, I thought he did. He said that he's JP. Because, you know, the, the initials, which, which is certainly acceptable. But if he started using J5, man, you know we're breaking ground here. Soon. He just said soon. That could be one of the uh, early 2019 first quarter annou <laughs> announcements from Vintage Breaks. Johnny Five has legally changed his name to Johnny Five. First name Johnny, last name Five. <laughs> you know, I feel like that was in Major League. Like Charlie Sheen got some people to get like Wild Thing tattoos, you know, because they, they were swooning over him. Uh, that, that would be fantastic. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you heard this. Uh, we probably didn't, John, but uh, Lou's considering getting a Johnny Five tattoo. <laughs> J you, sorry, J5. J5 tattoo. Where's he going to get on his wrist? <laughs> so Victoria, who's apparently now known as V8 by some of our community, has just asked uh, where you're going to get the tattoo. <laughs> we'll cut it off there. We'll cut it off there. <laughs> All right, fair enough, fair enough. Um Joe, that is your free 1982 Topps uh, baseball solo pack. Uh, Robert, I just need a rubber band or a team bag for that so we don't have any confusion. Thank you very much. So we got some other um, freebies here that we're going to try to give away. Um, let's see here. So we got seven minutes. Let's try to do one more 1982 pack. Yeah, Joe, don't worry. The, the giveaway is yours. Like, drop the mic. You won. Um 82 Fleer Baseball. So I tell you what, for those that, uh, that are watching, uh, we'd like to get a comment as to why you should win this 1982 Fleer Baseball pack. Oh, we can do that anytime. I would say let's do that now. We'll give people as to... Uh, so, for example, Harold Baines was your neighbor. Oh, Harold Baines. This is 82. Lee Smith was your neighbor. Right? Cal Ripken Jr. gave me a foul ball when I was three, and I could prove it with pictures. Anything fun related to the 1982 set, Lee Smith, Cal Ripken, or other, give us a line or a comment, and we will let you win this 1982 Fleer Pack. We'll open it for you live on the air. Um, I would like to give away the Cracker Jack book right now, though, Lou. Great suggestion. Now, once again, this is going to go out to someone who is suggesting, which, of course, I think is great, what should be the next subject of a book by Tom and Ellen, and of course the crew, sometimes it includes Lou, maybe Rico if he's in the mood, he contributes to the books. Um, we'd like to give this book away, and of course it is inscribed by Tom and Ellen right there, a gorgeous coffee table book, and of course if you enjoy um, learning and reading about uh, early baseball cards, really, I mean I'm just going to open up a random page, 
This is high quality. This is really, really nice. Yep. Now, it was the first book I thought of. Uh, my wife hasn't asked me this uh, in a while because we used to live in Hoboken, a three-bedroom apartment. And so when we, when we would entertain, it was no more than three couples at once because you couldn't fit any more than that in our apartment. So we have the holiday party, first time owning a house. Of course, we have tons of people. And um, she's like, we need coffee table books. I said, don't worry, I got you covered. So this was one of those books. Let's see. Back cover. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I don't think, I don't think, yep, yeah, yeah, well, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I don't think it's that one. Um, but uh, who do we think we should give this one away to, to um, uh, Lou? Yes. Oh, you know, it's interesting. So, Shane, you're definitely going to win for that, bud. Uh, please hit us up, latenatjustcollect.com, so we can get you that. What was the last name there? Okay, great. So, Shane, I actually had approached uh, Tom about that a few naturals ago. That was before uh, Vintage Breaks even existed. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll save that for the next uh, the next show. Needless to say, we don't have a book yet. <laughs> oh, my spare time. I really like to, you know, to write a children's book. Um, I just think, you know, it'd be, it'd be cool, but you know, obviously, easier said than done. Anything that's worthwhile takes real effort. Uh, so there you go, Shane. Congratulations. So let's see, 1982 Fleer, uh, Vicky. Uh, by the way, I know not to call you that, but Dano did call you that, and he says hi. Oh, he said oh, hi, hi, Vicky. Hi, Daniel. He said, uh, by the way, Vicky's communicating back with you. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, no, Vicky is out. Oh. Yep, it's Victoria. And in fact, uh, you know, it's funny. So my last name is Sheldon. And, um, you know, folks have asked me, oh, hey, you know, do you ever go by Sheldon? You know, you go by Lee? And I said, to be honest with you, if you call me anything else other than late and, or late for dinner, which is what my mom certainly did back in the day, um, I don't even turn around. So I can see Victoria doing that. Like, you're on the street. You're on the street. She's like eight feet from you. Hey, Vicky. I think she keeps walking. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Big Lou, you're like, you know, listen, you address me as, you know, and then I'll get back to you. Um, all right, so let's try to get this A2 FLIR pack in. Let's see who we got here. Get someone new on the board. That's funny, uh, Galen Oda, I saw that you said you stayed home from work and you were watching our show. I thought you said you stayed home from work to watch our show. And had you written that, you might have won the A2 FLIR pack. That, that would have been the cat's meow. I think so. <laughs> All right. Geo, just because... Exactly. Geo, I like uh, how your uh, your name just flows off the tongue there. The Geo. Appreciate you watching. This is your A2 Fleer pack. Let's get right to it. I'd love to get you Lee Smith or, of course, the Cal Ripken. Cal Ripken and 82 Fleer. We'll just leave them afterwards. Um, it's probably a $500 10 and, of course, the Lee Smith's probably hot. Ooh, there we go. Nice beginning. <laughs> wow. I mean, I guess no one told him about, uh, you know, the hairdo. Oof. My guess is he might have had a lady at the time who liked it like that. That's just my guess. So you realize the first three players. Are you kidding me? Just drop the mic. I want to go, I want to go, uh, maybe buy a scratch off. Rose, Fingers. Ah, uh, we couldn't continue it, but obviously it uh, would be almost impossible. Grant Jackson. Oriole. So not bad, right? Four out of the first six. There you go. Yeah, this is an incredible pack in terms of content. I know, it's really, it's like I've never heard of the guy, or it's a solid Hall of Famer. Like Danny Boone, I have no idea who that is whatsoever. Nope. Tim Flannery, now i got to say I've heard of him. Like, he's not a Hall of Famer, so so I heard of him before. Amos Otis. Oh, second year, almost dead nut centered, Fernando. Mike Marshall, very tough autograph. 
Yes, very tough. <laughs> I'm not sure, but Rock Flip, Rock Flipowitz from YouTube just said, because uh, 1982, Fleer made a product called Fleer Stamps. He said, I used to lick the 82 Fleer Stamps. Are these good for that? <laughs> Lou, I gotta tell you, the show is really changing. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, certainly, we've all had a situation where we've texted a, a friend or a loved one, and they write you back like, "What are you talking about?" Oh, autocorrect. Sorry. I do too. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's from from, from four thirty. This is going to be the new billing. No longer talk about it. it's a hot show. It's fun. This is the new safe space for you folks out there in the hobby from every Wednesday to 4.30 to 5.30. Lou, Lou, thanks a lot, bud. It was a lot of fun today. Sure. So um, January 2nd, um, is, is that a Wednesday as well? So are you definitely out on that day? Okay, so um, we could certainly talk about, you know, doing a rerun or a different day, uh, maybe. So um, I can't do 4.30 next week, but I could do earlier in the day. So I didn't know if that's going to potentially be okay for you. Great. Yeah, because I won't be around 4.30, but earlier in the day I could definitely do, and it would be fun to be back one more time during the holiday season. Yeah, we'll put it on Facebook. Yep, awesome. Thanks so much, Lou. Have a great show tonight. Thanks so much. Take it easy. Bye. All right, John. So, John, it's yours to take over. I'll get the free stuff to the guys. Um, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, a little $10 uh, mini winner take all, I'll bring that in just a little bit. But as we know, we got a lot of break. <laughs> yep, the break credits are going to take care. Okay, great. Oh, I'll do a break credit from here. The one that from here. Oh, so uh, Bobby Fox is already good. Yep. Awesome. Good to go. Thanks for watching the show, guys. Victoria, that's 100% the truth. If you, you know, like someone, you know, someone that I used to go to high school with, they don't know my person, they see Lee or they see Shelton. What's up, everyone? A guy did that to me. I was at a Rutgers football game. Uh, uh, Back to Houston, our State, regular YouTube Chicago show. I was like, scream, Shelton! I just, it doesn't like, it's not like, it's not like, it doesn't like, yeah. So I eventually got my attention, but it was like, it's just a football game. Sorry. Hey, chef. Yeah, like it's just uh, just free use. They get the whole pack. I don't know. Uh, he is. I don't think they're Yeah, so I told him you know. Just give it a sec. Uh, Chef Tess says hi. Hey, what's up, Chef? How are you? Show me a second. All right. What's up, Matthew? So Josh, Gary, Colonel Angus, my man. What's up, Bob Millet? Bobby. I'm going to call you Bobby. All right, so guys, just a, a quick update. Hey, Ron. Yes, that's me, sir. Pleasure uh, pleasure meeting you. Well, not meeting you, but pleasure speaking with you uh, via email, uh, as I mentioned. Uh, that's going to be our method for uh, the Just Collect card um, credit that we've been giving out. So <clears throat> I'm going to talk to uh, everyone here in a little bit too about that. Uh, Matthew, your break credit, I emailed you. Matthew, I emailed you your break credit already. Um, so check your email, check your spam. It might be in the spam too. It's in the form of a gift card via email. You got to hit print. And there's gonna be a prompt, and you can see the code. It starts with P R O dash something uh, midnight fifty, I think it is. Uh, so check your email. So I already did it this morning. All credit, all break credits, vintage break credits has been done, guys. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Kevin? Ron, perfect. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going uh, straight home after this. Uh, after I get offline, so I'll probably do it in the morning. Um, I'll let you know if anything has been bought since then, uh, cause it is first come first serve, unfortunately for our eBay store. Uh, 
Yeah, so Matthew Rizzo, check your email, sir. What's up, Mark? Mark, check your email too. I emailed you your break credit as well. Congratulations on winning three hundred and fifty dollar break credit, I believe. Uh, so check, check, sir. All right, guys. Uh, literally, while the PSA show was live, uh, hey, what's up, Tim? Uh, FedEx came and we got a PSA package. Uh, we have a big shoot of uh, PSA cards for vintage breaks. I was not able to get through all of them. Uh, I was able to get to the first three just to find their names. Uh, so I'll do a, a quick PSA reveal. Again, there's a lot more. I'll have everything hopefully done by tomorrow so Mike can go through it. It's a lot of vintage breaks cards in there. Um, hey, no problem, Matthew. So uh, this is what I got so far. Again, I didn't finish. Hey, what's up, Jeff Ramos? Ramos. Uh, <clears throat> nice, Mark. <laughs> All right, so this is for Chris Chrisman. Uh, was, I think I broke this pack. It was the first Brett Favre rookie car from the 1992 Stadium Club box. Came back at PSA 9. PSA 9 for Chris Chrisman. Next up, we have uh, Justin Fountain. Justin, you had a 78 OPG Eddie Murray. Uh, this one came back PSA 7 PSA 7 for Justin Fountain And then Dwayne Dwayne Spencer. I'm not sure you're watching Dwayne, but you had we pull I pulled you a uh, Manny Ramirez uh, foil for 93 SP came back a PSA 8 So there you go Michael, I, Mike, what's up, man? I don't know if I saw it in there. I, I, I had to go through quickly, but um, this, these are the only ones I got to do so far. But I'll, I'll have more by tomorrow. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, this is, I believe, is done. Oh, Jeff. So, Jeff Ramos. Jeff, I, I know you're watching. Um, I didn't record, well, we didn't get to record the first break on the PSA show. It was uh, a 94 SP baseball pack for you. I uh, just wanted to recap that for you. I got Steve Avery, uh, Mike Mussina, got a die cut of Billy Wagner, Mark Grace, uh, Brooks Kishmik, Kishmik, uh, Jeff Conine, Randy Johnson and Mike Greenwell. That was pack three, Jeff. And it looks like you have another one too. Um, pack, oh, this is 93 SP. Yeah, 93 SP, Jeff. Uh, let's see who is your foil card. Roger Cedeno. That was your foil card, Jeff. Roger Cedeno. And that was pack 130. So. Just wanted to uh, recap for you, Jeff, since I didn't get to record it. Uh, Tim, that was a regular sub. That's just regular. Uh, it's not the bulk. Uh, okay. So let's... Uh, Victoria's pointing in. Uh, let's do a quick break to start off the night. I got 84 Donruss pack 92. Tim, I, I did see a rose. I did see a 70 rose, I believe. Hey, no problem, Jeff. <clears throat> so stay tuned for tomorrow, Tim. I'll finish that up tomorrow morning. If it came earlier, I would have I would have done it, but it literally came during the PSA show. Um, okay. Uh, 84 Donruss pack 92 and we got pack 93 on cue Ronald Robinson Ron I know you're watching Ron you're in this one <coughs> uh, 
Arturo, what's up, man? Haven't seen you in a while. Thanks, bud. I'm going to... What's on right here? Uh, we're going <laughs> to... I could tell you, uh, we'll try to get to it today, but I'll be lying to you. Uh, we have like three shoots ahead of you. Um, so we'll try to break it at some point this week. If not, it'll be early next week. Uh, we, we have to get through these packs. <laughs> Tim, uh, they call me the, the Fixer. That's, that's my nickname here, The Fixer. Um, all right, let's record. <clears throat> All right, guys, this is for a 1984 Donruss Wax Pack, uh, Pack 92. Good luck to Russ, Ronald, and Thad. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you know when we go live for more vintage breaks. And, of course, that is also the website to be part of these breaks. So make sure you uh, subscribe. Yeah, Ronald, we're trying to get to it, bro. All right, six, six. That's a six on the random. Uh, here, Rob, can you connect the phones? Stu, you too. Thank you. All right, one, two, three, four, four, five, and six. There's a six. There's the list. Okay. <laughs> uh, thanks, Arturo. <clears throat> so yeah, so Bob Fox, check your email. Your break credit is there. And uh, there was another person who won break credit. Joseph Cerullo. Joseph, check your email. You also got your break credit too, sir. Thank you for uh, participating during the PSA show. All right, Thad, your first card will be here underneath the puzzle. Hey, what's up, Dean? 76 Tots Baseball Solo? 76 Tots Baseball Solo. I thought I sold out already. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> no problem, Ron. I feel you, man. Thank you. Uh, nobody wants the puzzle. All right. Thad. First card out. Brian Dayet. Rookie card. Also for the Yankees. Not the right Yankee we're looking for. Card two. Ted Simmons. Ted Simmons. Hey, Rob. Yeah. You have the snapper list open? Yeah. Okay. I'll be off the phone in a minute. Okay. Sorry. Uh, card three. Tim Conroy. Card four, Mike Lacoste. Card five, Ken Shrum for the Twins. So guys, I'll be breaking for a couple of hours, uh, probably like to 7, 7.30, around there. Um, trying to get some... You know, catch up on some of these shoots of packs. Card six, it's Len Matuzik. Card seven, John Tudor. Or is it Tudor? Like Hodor. 84 Donut. <laughs> Card eight, Luis De Leon. I personally have not pulled a Don Manley. Mike has, so I'm trying to get one. Man, I guess I got some white teeth. Whew. Those are shiny pearls. Look at that. Card nine, Ricky Nelson. I believe so, Arturo. 
Um, also, the hard to get in tens. Um, I guess due to the centering stuff like that. Joe Price, card number ten. This is for Russ. Eleven. Jack Fimple. Jack Fimple. Card twelve for Thad. Ed Jurak. Or Jurak. I'm not sure how to say that. Oh, the Rat Pack. Yeah, it's almost sold out, I, I think. Yeah, but it's definitely taken a while to close. But, you know, it, eventually it does get sold out. Matt Harvey signed a one-year deal with the Angels today. Nice. <clears throat> All right, we got Living Legends. We got Yaz and Johnny Bench. Card 13 for that. Ron, your card is coming up next. Ron, you're getting Tippy Martinez. Tippy Martinez. I don't recall him. Was he any good, Bob? And the last card. It does look good, too. I like the design. It's not the worst design I've seen, but it's definitely nice. Uh, Mark Huseman. It definitely has some uh, incredible portrait shots. Very, very clean. Very nice. The only thing I don't like is like this little design right here. They could have done better on that, but, you know. There you go, guys. 84 Donruss, pack 92 in the books. So, guys, we are working hard and extra, uh, extra hours and shifts trying to get um, this week to get all these out for delivery. Um, so, if, if it takes a little bit longer than usual to get your packs and your cards, um, just bear with us. You can always email me just to make sure. But yeah, we're, we're doing our best to uh, to make sure we do this quickly. Um, but there's a lot of packs now, and you know we're working hard. That's all I can tell you. Um, all right, so another 84 Donruss because just because all you gotta do is change the uh, number on top here to 93. Okay, for this one, we got Heath, Tolliver, Theodore, and Robert Bacon. Okay. Tippy was a decent reliever. All right. Better than, <laughs> better than Harold Baines. Uh, the whole Harold Baines drama. Nice, he won a World Series. Uh, a World Series ring, nice. Hey, what's up, John Schwartz? Uh, John Schwartz is a uh, big time eBay buyer for our store. Welcome to the show, my friend. Welcome to the show. Um, okay, let's record. This is for a 1984 Donruss Wax Pack number 93. Number 93. Uh, okay. Let's randomize. Seven on the random. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three. <laughs> Leave Harold Baines alone. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, man. It's a good story right now. 
Clemente was an elite hitter. I agree with Brian. Yes. Uh, Robert, first card underneath the puzzle right here. I just want one Madden Lee rookie. Just one. Eliminate him, uh, eliminate it from my uh, to-do list. Brad Kaminsk for Robert Bacon. <clears throat> Troy. Oh, man, I missed what you said. Something about the Pete Rose giveaway. What was that Pete Rose giveaway, Troy? I don't remember having one. I don't think Leighton had one. <clears throat> Card two, Frank Tanana. Yes, he is, especially to Puerto Ricans. They idolize him, my friend. 74 Toss P Rose PSA card. Oh, no, yeah, not yet, not yet. Shane, that hasn't, uh, that has not been given out yet. You did not miss it. You did not miss it. Gorman Thomas, card three. Domingo Ramos. It's actually Ramos. Ramos. Domingo Ramos. Card five, Gary Lucas. Oh, definitely, Bob. Uh, some of my friends are Puerto Rican, and yeah, they uh, their dads have jerseys and stuff like that of Clemente. Their baseball cards, photos. Pedro Guerrero, car six for Heath. Car seven, Charlie Puleo. Hey, what's up, Kevin? I'm trilling, trilling, my fans. I hope you don't mean trolling. I'm definitely not trolling anybody. I'm not Mike. Card eight, Daryl Thomas. Card nine, Gene Tennis. Tanas, Tanash. Gene Tanash for Robert Bacon. Bud Black. Bud Black. Ah, <clears throat> <laughs> oh, Brian. Spitting out the facts. All right. Kent Singleton, Card 11. Oh, trilling. That's what that is. I did not know that was a word for it. Yeah, definitely rolling my R's, my friend. Lee Lacey. Lee Lacey. Card 12. 13. Rick Bahina. Or Bahina. Look at those portrait shots, man. Those look nice. Diddy. Wow, that's definitely way before my time. Brian, I'm going to have to remind myself. Car 14, Bruce Hurst. Bruce Hurst. Hey, Brian, why don't you email me so I can remember to look it up tomorrow? Or just email me the link. That's even better. 15, Jim Barr for Robert Bacon. There you go, guys. 84 Dunrose Baseball Pack number 93 in the books.
Let's switch it up sport real quick. Let's switch to sport. Let's do a little basketball, shall we? Four homers and nine RBIs. Wow. Rolando, uh, if you want to sell your cards, definitely. Um, if you have Nolan Ryan cards, I mean, is it vintage or is it the modern stuff, like 80s, 90s, or is it 60s, early 70s? Uh, if it's modern, you want to go eBay. You know, that's just where everybody sells the cards. Nineteen seventy nine basketball pack fifty two guys. Make sure you check the break calendar, it has been updated. All you gotta do is click on the pack and it'll take you straight to the YouTube video. So, we've been doing that for three weeks now, I think. Uh, it's something that I came up with. Hopefully, it'll help you guys find it directly, uh, but it's only for a week. The duration is only a week, so after uh, after we hit Monday, uh, well, actually, on Fridays is when we delete everything. So go to a break calendar and check it out. Hey, Jim Lammers, what's up, man? Uh, Jim, tonight we have broken. I'll tell you right now, ninety four SP personal for Jeff, ninety three SP personal for Jeff. 72 Toss Presidents personal for Tim Hadley. 84 Dharma's Pack 92 and 93. And right now we're about to hit 79 Toss Basketball Pack 52. So there is where we are right now. And we're just talking a little baseball, you know, a little Ro 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 Roberto Clemente. Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, yeah, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. Beautiful Puerto Rican lady. And yes, she's definitely New York Rican. You can definitely say that. Uh, I remember her in Living Color. So definitely uh, remember her from, from that show. She was one of the backup dancers. Uh, okay. This is for a 1979 Topps Basketball Wax, wax Pack, number 52. Good luck to Ivan, Jamie, Brock, Lewis, and Allen. Let's see if I'm missing anybody else. And Kevin. There we go. Okay, let's randomize. Hey, no problem, Jim. Welcome to the show, my friend. I'll be here till like 7, 7.30. Just breaking some packs, and then we'll be back on for Prime Night tomorrow night. So stay tuned. All right. Let's get that 7. Let's get the 7. I like rolling 7s. So it should be 5s. I like one in sevens. Six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Luis, you're getting the first card in the pack. Alright, gum side, always gum side, guys. Gum side is always the first card, so Luis, right here. There we go. Let's see what the first card is Johnny Davis. Johnny Davis. Part two, Walter Davis. Walter Davis. Car three, Lloyd B. Free. Hey, Jim, what's up, man? I haven't seen you in a while, my friend. Anytime, man. Anytime. 
Chef, you want 58 what again? 58 Philly? Is it 58 Philly? Chef, what, uh, which pack are you talking about? But it's about the hit random. It's about the hit random. Hey, Rob, yeah. can we get that hit random ready? Or is it already ready? It's all, man. Yeah, sold out at uh, 536. It's the 21 with the Jackie Robinson. Okay. We're going to get that hit random ready, guys. The greater hit random. Hey, Jim, the 86 Fleer basketball is tomorrow. Tomorrow, during our prime night. Uh, the 75 is tomorrow as well. So I'm going to do a video showing all the cards. Uh, it's a big set. And then tomorrow night, we're just going to do the big highlights. You know, the Yount, the Brett, the Ryan, stuff like that. Um, and then I'm going to post up on the break calendar uh, the link. So you just have to click on the link for the title. And it's going to be a JPEG with the entire list. This way you guys can see what card you got um so that would be the best way and then a link to the video um will be in our youtube channel so i'm gonna get all that done for you guys leonard robinson card four he manny machado met with the yankees really card five James Edwards. <clears throat> I'm trying to see what pack you're talking about, Chef. Did I miss something? Philly, Philly, Philly. I don't see it. Sixty-one tops. Yeah, sixty-one tops. I see. <laughs> it's nine spots left on the sixty-one tops. John, what's up, man? Sixty-five baseball. Uh, that's going to be next week. John, that's going to be that's going to be Tuesday. Uh, it takes time for it takes time for us to prep the sets. Uh huh. Yeah, so it's going to be most likely next Tuesday. Or, no, actually, that's Christmas. Uh, it'll be probably Wednesday. I'm assuming Wednesday or Thursday. So it's going to be next week. We'll let you guys know. But we you know, we had two set breaks tomorrow. It's the 86 Fleer basketball and the 75 Tots baseball. Card six, Tom Henderson. Yeah, Ron. So we're definitely going to do it. It's going to be next week, though. Oh, the 58 football. 58 football. Did we sell that? You mean 59 football? Chef, you mean 59, right? <clears throat> George McGinnis. George McGinnis. Yeah, no problem, Ron. Oh, thank you, John. Appreciate it, man. Have a, uh, have a nice holiday, my friend. We're going to be on tomorrow. I think we're going to be on Friday. Trying to catch up with uh, the pack breaks. Ivan, here is your Bobby Wilkerson. Card nine for Jamie. Michael Thompson. Part 10, Campy Russell. Eleven, Dennis Johnson <clears throat> for the Sonics. <laughs> it's all good, Chef. It's all good, man. We've been all working hard. It's the holiday season. 
Card 12. Hey, David. Not yet. Not yet. I, I don't believe we have yet. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to ask Layton when he's going to do that. He's here today. So, Colonel, happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. That is 79 Toss Basketball Pack 52 in the books. Colonel, for your birthday, I'm going to sing you a happy birthday song. Thank you, sir. You got the listed? Yeah. Nice. Happy birthday, Mr. Angus, Colonel Angus. Happy birthday to you. I'm not going to ask how old you are, but I'm sure uh, you're either my age or a little bit older. Guys, we're about to do the 20 card PSA SEC hit, uh, hit random. Uh, Mark, 80 Toss Baseball Rack. Is that done yet? I don't think so, Mark. Uh, I have like three shoots ahead of me. I have one, two, three right here that I have to go through just regular packs. And I think you're going to be in the third or fourth. So I don't know. Well, definitely not today. Definitely not today. Because I'm only here for like another hour, hour and a half. Um, 53, Angus. Nice. I'm almost there, man. I'm almost there. Uh, okay. So for your birthday, Angus, Chef Ted is going to send you a uh, my, uh, a personal birthday cake. He's going to uh, bake it himself. He is a chef. Jonathan, what's up? Co uh, Jonathan Coker, quick question. I'm driving. Well, wow, you're texting and driving. That's crazy. Uh, when, will, when will be the 79 Toss Baseball Pack 7 break? That's my first pressure on you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, 79. Let me see. I see it here, Jonathan. I do have your list. I, I do have you in here. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be tomorrow. Jonathan, tomorrow is a good chance. We'll get to it tomorrow. We have it ready. We have it prepped. So, Jonathan, make sure you drive safely. Don't text anymore. <laughs> but uh, just know, Jonathan, tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, okay. So let's do the uh, hit random. It is our first ever Jackie Robinson uh, 50 Bowman giveaway in this one. Uh, let's do SGC hit random. Perfect. It was a red light. <laughs> All right, Jonathan. Okay, that's cool. You're good. You're good to go. Uh, okay, so let's get the randomization ready here. Okay, let's record. Thanks, Jonathan. Appreciate the support, man. Make sure you stay, in t uh, stay tuned tomorrow. All right, <clears throat> this is for our 20 card PSA SEC hit random number 84. Um, where the one of the big hits is a uh, 1950 Bowman Jackie Robinson, uh, PSA graded. Also, in here, I believe is a 55 Bowman mantle. The way this works, there's 20 graded cards here. Uh, <clears throat> offline, we have random random everything here and labeled 1 through 20. Uh, I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to randomize the names okay. in the break. Then I'm going to randomize the position in the break. And then I'm going to mesh it together and we'll go down the list. So here we go. Bye, guys. bye Felicia. I mean, bye, Victoria. Oh, bye, Felipe. Uh -huh. uh, eight. <clears throat> eight on the random. Tell Daniel I said bye too. It's his birthday today. Oh, it is? Yeah. So tell Daniel happy birthday. Uh, Victoria says happy birthday, Colonel. Daniel. Uh, sorry, Daniel. 
What's up, Mark? No problem, man. All right, here we go, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's the list for the names and positions. One through twenty. Now, I'm going to randomize the positions of the cards. Wow, Bob. Well, happy birthday to him. All right, one through twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty. All right. Now that's right of my she bye Vicky, Colonel says. <laughs> bye Daniel. Uh yes, tomorrow Victoria about Victoria. Victoria will be live tomorrow, uh, at some point during the day. V A time tomorrow. Alright, now let's randomize the position of the cards with a nine. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and nine. <laughs> We're pups. All right, there's the position of the cards. I'm going to mesh together now. And let's put this on the board. So you guys can see. There it is. So Jeff Gogan, Gogan will get card 8, Doug will get card 5, 18, Joseph card 9, and so on, so on, down the list. Okay? So, good luck to you guys. <clears throat> There's definitely some goodies in here. You know, a couple okay cards, and of course the big, big hits. So let's start off with Jeff. Jeff, card number 8. Jeff, nice start, my friend. Nice start. That is your 55 tops, Hank Aaron, SQC 40. Hey, what's up, Tyler Jones from Periscope? <coughs> there you go for Jeff. Jeffrey, nice Aaron card, my friend. That's going out to you. Next, we got Doug, card five. Doug, enjoy your Bill Matlock, PSA 8, 75 tops. Not sure this is rookie or second year. Oh, I think it's just, I think it's his rookie card. Next, Doug, again, back to back. Card 18. Doug, along with your Madlock, you're taking home Joe Morgan, 1968 tops, PSA 7.5. <clears throat> Bob, you're turning 40 in June. Awesome. I'll be turning 38 in September. So I got a while. Joseph, Joe, Joe Cerullo, what's up, man? Mitchell, nice. Yeah, email him. <laughs> Ronald, that would be crazy. It hasn't happened yet, I can tell you how much. Uh, Joe, card nine. Joe, 88 Fleer sticker, Isaiah Thomas, PSA 8. Kevin W. Kevin, card 13. Oh, ho. Big Kev. There it is, sir. 1950 Bowman. Jackie Robinson. SUC 40. That is yours, Kevin. Congrats. There is the big hit right there for Kevin W. Jeff, card six. Jeff, 61 tops, Don Drysdale, PSA 6. 
Doug, card 10. Doug, 53 Bowman color, Richie Ashburn, PSA 4. Oh, Ron, yeah, I heard about that yesterday too, man. Um, we heard it here uh, through, I think, Twitter. Dominic, Dom, card 11. 64 tops, Jim Bunning, PSA 7. Rob, Rob Todd, card 12. <clears throat> Rob, enjoy your 59 tops, Bill Mazeroski, PSA 7. Arturo, Arturo, who is watching. Uh, card 16, card 16. Wow, Arturo. My man, check that out. That is your 1960 tops, Roberto, Roberto Clemente. PSA 8, it does have an uh, off-center qualifier, an OC. Uh, Arturo, congrats, man. There you go, my friend. We were talking about Clemente. There you go, you're taking one home. How crazy is that? Dominic, card seven. Dom, 67 tops home run leaders with Hank Aaron and Willie Mays, PSA six. <laughs> he him away. Dominic, again, card two, card two. All right, 1972 top Sparky Anderson, PSA 8. Rob Todd, again, car 3, car 3. Rob is the 75 top passing leaders with Jurgensen and Anderson, PSA 9. Taking that home, my friend. Arturo. Again, card one right off the bat is the big boy. 64 tops, Giants, Al Kaline. Speaking of it, though, there it is. Happy birthday to Al. PSA 8. Arturo, you're taking that home. Michael Dewar, card 17. Michael, 52 tops, George Kell, PSA 5. There you go, sir. Joe, Joe Cerullo, card 20. Card 20. There you go. 66 tops, Ernie Banks, PSA 6. Oh, you doing a hit random? Yes. Very nice. Congrats to Joe. Max, I'll take it. Sure, this is a winner take all. I did put the time on at 619. It's our first one tonight. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Uh, Arturo, is there Arturo? Yes, Arturo. Not, card 19, card 19. 1961, Golden Press, Gabby Harnett, PSA 9. That is for Arturo. Doug, back to back. Card 15. 1933, Gaudi, Rick Farrell, PSA 4. And card number four, 65 tops, Ron Santo, PSA 7. That's true, Kevin. That's true. And the last card is going to Casey. Casey, card 14, which is your 69 tops, Lenny Wilkins, SEC 84. Tall boy right there. I wanted to cross these off because they're here. And I'd like to type up. <laughs> maybe Kevin maybe there you go guys that is your 20 card PSA SEC hit random number 84 in the books <clears throat> okay
done. I don't think I emailed that to you. I do not. Okay. Put this in the bag. I agree, Bob. I agree. Bob, can you aggregate, aggregate break credit? <laughs> I want to say no. Let's do another. Um, the reason why Bob is because it's like when I when I when I get it, I, I do it right away. Um, so I can't combine it. I mean, I could, it's just a lot of work. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh, nice, Gary. Little Lou Alcinder. Uh, okay, guys. We got our winner take all. Ready, Rob? Winner take all. It is... Ten dollars, and we need thirty-five entries. So you need to spend ten dollars at checkout. Hey Ryan, the sixty-five is next week, my friend. It's next week. Uh, it's sold out this morning. Uh, it takes time for it for us to prep it, and tomorrow uh, we have two set breaks going. We got the eighty-six Fleer basketball and the seventy-five toss baseball. So it's gonna be next week uh, after Christmas. So. Either Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, Thirty-five entries at ten dollars. <throat> winner take all. One winner takes all. So once I get thirty-five entries, I'm going to randomize the list, and the first person on top will get everything that I'm going to tell you right now. Let's start off with a uh, sixty-one. Hank Aaron MVP. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Ryan, I, uh, Ryan, you won a couple of things last night for the big giveaway. I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it was break credit, maybe. Um, check your email if it is a break credit. I emailed you a break credit, Ryan. Why? Well, well, as big of a surprise as this may be, Cinco, your workload is increasing. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it, man. Uh, 62 top. I still can't combine your thing. Sorry. Uh, 62 tops, Twilight Years with Babe Ruth. Uh, I love you too, Bob. Appreciate it, man. Uh, 60 tops, Gil Hodges. 59 Fleer, Ted Williams. The uh, Ted's remarkable on base record as the walk him every single time. Uh, got 75 tops. Mean Joe Green. Okay, Ryan, did you get it? I want to make sure you got it. Frank Tarkenton. This is 71 tops. I should know this one. 72 tops. George Blanda. Larry Sanka, I think this is 73, 73, Larry Sanka. And 59 tops, Joe Perry. And along with that, a free spot in the 1973 tops football set break. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards, nine vintage cards, stars and Hall of Famers, plus a free spot in the 73 tops football set break. One winner takes all. We need 35 entries. All you have to do is spend $10 at your at checkout. That's it. And then Rob is taking care of the list. So he's keeping an eye on the software. So who's doing what? Nice, Ryan. Great. Make sure you spend that, Ryan. 
All right, winner take all is in effect. Let's continue breaking. How about we break this nice box, huh? And I spot in the 75. Yes, something like that. I just don't remember what it was. Something like that. I'm sure, Ryan. I got you down for free spots, too. All right, 2001 SP Authentic Golf Box Number Three. I didn't never realize we opened two of these before. All right. Okay, we got our 24 names. Let's pull it up on our title here. <laughs> You're with me, Ryan. All right, here we go. This is for our 2001 SP Authentic Golf Box Break, number three. Uh, we are looking for that Tiger Woods rookie card. I think this is uh, his rookie card box, so let's, uh, let's roll. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you know when we go live for more breaks. Nine. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine. So who plays golf in our chat? I wonder. But raise your hands. Who plays golf? I'm not talking about like top golf or like you know mini golf. I'm talking about real golf. Jared Goff. Yeah, you know, you know how that goes. Okay, let me uh, email Victoria the list. All right, William, we get the first pack. Where's my blade? Hey, there's one hand. There's another. Matthew, golf pro for 16 years. Wow. I like it. I played a little golf while I was living in Florida. I think I enjoyed just uh, the riding in the little golf cart with a 24 pack of Corona. To me, that was like the best part. Just like you just sweat it out. It's Florida, so it's all very humid. So the more you drink, you really don't get drunk. Hey, Todd, no problem, man. Uh, you got to see Victoria break it. <laughs> uh, she's the one who broke it, so. That's a great pack, my friend. Hopefully, I going to get in some rest. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, let's, uh, let's get this box open, Bob, huh? Ron, what does that mean? Lady Victoria, I pray that. <laughs> yeah, man, she's Lady Luck. Because I opened the other two and nothing came out of it. It's awful. I hated it. All right. We got our packs here. We're going to go by stacks. So one on the left, two in the middle, and three on the right. So let's get the first stack. <laughs> Jonathan, be jealous, my friend. Be jealous. Love it. All right, Todd. 
I'm Todd. Bill, your first car, your first pack. What we got? I don't know, I'm assuming these going to be base cards. So, uh, Dudley Hart, Ben Hogan, nice, nice cards, and Joe Durant foil. We got foil card. I don't know if there's any good or not. But I'm not going to take a risk. I'm going to put anything nice and shiny in sleeves. There you go, William. <laughs> Kevin, it's all good, bro. It happens to the best of us. All right, pack one. Wow, that's it. How many cards? Four cards per pack. Wow. That was pack one. <clears throat> pack two, Jared. Bob, is that true? I mean, Chef, is that true as well? Who used to be better though? Who used to who used to be a better golfer? What's up, Lee? Uh, I just want, I forgot to mention this and give this away in the PSA show. Okay. This is the contest we started running a few days ago. Yes, no, we were talking about it. Yep. So uh, that's our winner. We've announced it on Facebook. I just wanted to announce it on, on our show. Oh, you did announce it. Yep. I didn't pay attention to that. Sorry. Yep. All right, guys. Looks like the Pete Rose card was announced during the PSA show uh, today earlier. I just I wasn't aware it was. Uh, the winner is Michael Pena. Michael Pena. Congratulations, sir. Um, I'm not sure if you're a customer of Vintage Breaks. If you are, we'll look you up on our software. We'll have your address. If you're not, please email me, john at justcollect.com, your shipping info so we can mail out your Pete Rose card. So, Michael Pena, I'm talking to you, my friend. I'm going to keep this one here so I know. <clears throat> The show was a better golfer. Oh, Bob, that's uh, it's pretty honest of you. you could have just lied. <laughs> uh, you got Ian Woodsman, Ambassadors of Golf, Gene Sarazen. 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 Uh, I think this is base cards. These are just base cards. Yep. It was pack two. Pack three for Dennis. So you golfers out there, do you guys take a case of beer too when you go play? Or was that just like a... Because I took Coronas. Cause, you know, <laughs> I mean, I like Coronas. Uh, Fairway Greats, Ben Hogan. Oh, these are all like this. Okay, it's a nice pack. Um, Arnold Palmer, Gene Sarazen, Craig Statler. Ooh, a nice foil card of Tiger Woods. Honor roll. But that's not his rookie, right? 2001 SP Authentic. What is it? Just, just, it's just okay. autograph. It might be autographing. That's what it is. There you go, Jared Tiger Woods. His his rookie card is like nineteen ninety six. Uh, Sports Illustrated, ninety six or ninety six. Soccer kids. Yep. <laughs> Beer a hole. Yes, yeah, I, I like it. That's how I like. Uh, Alright, let's put this in a card server just in case. Here you go, Janet. You Tiger Woods foil card. <clears throat> oh, that's awesome, Mitchell. That's what I'm talking about. I used to play out years ago. They didn't have that yet. <clears throat> Pack four for James. Oh, that's not Jared. That's Dennis. Sorry. That's pack three. That's for Dennis. Dennis, that was your Tiger Woods foil card. Pack four is James. James Sanford. Mm 
back in the day were cards in people's collections always off center because that's how they clean the tags. Pretty much, Jonathan. I don't think they really cared if it was off center back then. Well, you had a couple grades. Yeah. You got Tom Westco Weisskopf. Weisskopf. Nick Faldo. Oh, that's a signature. It is Chris Smith. Man, what can it be Tiger Woods? Chris Smith for James was pack four. Yes, pack four. James Sanford. There's your autograph card, my friend. We we're hoping Tiger. Base cards. Pack five. Daniel. Hey, Matt. Yeah, we're looking at what? Well, I pulled a foil base card. That's nothing there, right? <clears throat> uh, John Daly. I remember John Daly. Duffy Waldorf. Chris Perry. A, another foil card. Justin Leonard. I know he's a good player. Really, Bob? All right. That makes sense, though. I'm sure you were very competitive. You didn't want to be drunk during the course of the game. I'm not sure why I'm putting this in a card saver, but it's just a Leonard. Why not? That's uh, pack five for Daniel. <clears throat> pack six. Got Tom Kite, Lauren Roberts, Mark Kalkavikia, Kalkavikia. Wow, that's awful. Uh, Curtis Strange. That was pack six. Pack seven. Curtis. I should really get back to golf. I haven't played golf in so long. Have to hit the driving range. Um, Fred Couples. Again, Fred Couples, Ambassadors of, Ambassadors of Golf. Uh, Bernhard Langer. And a foil card of Arnold Palmer. Very nice. <clears throat> Love those Arnold Palmers. I love his iced tea as well. This is pack sevens for Curtis. Okay, pack eights. Pack eight for Rod, Rob Todd. Okay, Rob, Andy Bean, Ambassadors of, Ambassadors of Golf, and Jack Nicholas, um, Payne Stewart, and Tom Kite, and an extra card, uh, Ken Venturi. Five cards in this pack, and there's only four. Next up, second stack, Court, uh, pack nine, Will, uh, Bill, Bob, no, not going to happen, man, not going to happen, he's busy, <clears throat> we got other stuff to do in the background, you know what I'm saying, Tom Lehman, Lee, uh, Lee Jansen, 
Oh, another foil card of Tiger Woods. Who's that, Stu? Uh, are you trying to help him up? What's uh, what's the name of the player? That is modern. Yeah. Hey, Rob. How, how much these were per spot? Sure. Well, I'll look it up for you. Let me just put this in a card saver for our pack nine, William. There you go. Another four card. Focus on a champion. Okay. So these, Rob, the price point for these were. Two thousand and one. Twelve dollars and fifty cents, Rob. Twelve dollars and fifty cents per spot. Well, per pack. <laughs> you keep trying, Bob. You keep trying. Pack ten going to Robert. Uh, Mark Omira, Billy Ray Brown. Ooh, got an, uh, you got Payne Stewart, and you got a nice patch card of Chris Smith. Is that the autograph we pulled? I think that's the same guy. Yeah. Killing me smalls. What's up, man? So this patch card is 380 of 500. I guess it's a patch card of his pants. Tor swatch. All right. Chris Smith. Hey David, I I'm not sure. I don't know if we have another box or not. I have to ask Layton. And it's 380 of 500. This is pack 10 for Roberts. Mm. There you go, Rob. Pack 11 for Giuseppe. But <laughs> uh, not going to happen. All right. Raymond F Floyd. Hey, Floyd. Ambassadors of Golf. Bobby Jones. Nice. Ben Hogan. Foil card. Jack Nicholas. Nice. I like to put these in sleeves. Oh, this is for Pack 11. Giuseppe. Jack Nicholas. Um, so, Tiger Woods rookie card. He has two of them. One is the Sports Illustrated for Kids. All right, and then you have the Upper Deck, card number one. 2001? Or 2000, I thought, wasn't it? Is it 2000 or 2001? It's this one. Is it? Yeah. It's card number one, I think. Okay. Well, I'll put foil cards so far. Two foil cards are all subsets. They're all inserts, right? Yeah. Okay. Card, uh, pack 12. Pack 12. The signature, unfortunately, was not Tiger. It was somebody else. It was Chris. Sometimes there's a second signature in the boxes. Okay. <clears throat> David, you think? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure too much about this pack, about this uh, set, and what you sleeve up. I'm just, just the four the ones I definitely want to sleeve up. All right. We got Jeff Sluman. It'll stuck together on this one. And Bachelors of Golf, Payne Stewart. This doesn't mean anything. I have no idea. No. Uh, fairway greats, Ian Woodsman, Woodsman, and Brad Faxon. That was pack 12 for Mark Wagner. Pack 13. 
What's up, Jeff? Joining us again. I'm sure you're at work. Tuning in. We got Greg Kraft. Uh, Hale Irwin. Hello, Irwin. Ian Bakerfitch. Foil card of Sergio Garcia. This is uh, 13 for Sean Carey. Sean, back to back. <clears throat> yes, he was. He was, Bob. 14, Sean. Here we go. Joey Sindelar. Uh, Ken Venturi. Base card of Gary Player. And Lee I, uh, Ianson. Ianson. You know, I haven't been checking for like numbered, but I'm sure they'll say in the front. Base cards. That was pack 14 for Sean. 15. Rob, back to back as well. Peter Jacobson, uh, Gene Zarazin, Zarazin, why are you having a hard time saying his name? Jack Nicholas, nice, and full card of Greg Staller, any good? Alright, alright, mustache. Nah, Bob, that wasn't it. <laughs> Okay, that was pack 15 for Rob. Oop, pack 16, going to Rob again. I just pulled a bunch of his subsets. The subset, but I don't think. I think it's just the autograph. Yeah. I thought he's, yeah, so I think he's only in the upper deck, regular. Mm -hmm. 2001 yeah. SP Authentic. This is 2001 SP Authentic. You sure? He's got, I know he's got an upper deck. No, I'm saying that's the box I'm opening. 2001 yeah, I SP. It, I don't think he's got a base card yet. Oh, so it's just subsets and autograph. I think so. Okay. Yeah, because this rookie's got the 96 Sports Illustrated for Kids, 97 Grand Slam Ventures, and I think it's 2001 upper deck. Oh, okay. It's just the number one card, and he's got the Tiger's Tales insert in that set. Brad Faxon, Raymond Floyd, Ben Hogan, another signature. Well, I could be wrong. Uh, Michael Clark II. Man, two signatures in a box. Awesome. Hey, Jamie, what's up, man? Uh, Jamie, that's tomorrow. 86 Fleer set break, basketball set break is tomorrow. <clears throat> we got our second autograph in the box. I was hoping it would be another Tiger Woods. I mean, but a Tiger Woods. They said it's Michael uh, Clark II. Did you see the tree? All right. I just, I, 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 Rob, it's full, Rob. Yeah, it sold out, um, I think, earlier this week. Bob, tremendously smart, yes. This is pack 17. Mark, 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 good luck. Maybe get some sort of swatch. Some sort of patch card 
Uh, Colin Montgomery. Gary Player. Mark, again, Kalkavecchia. And a foil card of Mike Ware. There you go. It's the honor roll. Still, you can wrap it up in 10 minutes. 17, Mark, you all set. <clears throat> 18, Justin. <laughs> Stu, they're saying hi to you. He said whatever. You guys are not, you know. He's above your level, Bob. <laughs> oh, Bobby Jones. Very nice. Arnold Palmer, Ambassadors of Golf. Uh, Craig Staller and Arnold Palmer. Very nice. Pack 18 for Justin. <clears throat> Card 19. Pack 19, sorry. Dennis. Mark O'Meara. Gene Zarison. Gary McCord. Another Tyo Woods foil card. I wonder how many on this subset. 2001 Masters Tournament Champion. So let's put this in the card saver just in case. That's pack 19 for Dennis. Pack 20, Gilsaki. Oh, Illuminati. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, Gary, pa uh, Gary Player, Nick Price, Fred Couples, and Payne Stewart. Pack 20. Pack 21 for James. You got Ian Witzman, Fred Couples, Gary Player, for a card of Stuart Sink. There you go. That was pack 21. That was for uh, James. This is my first golf box opening, so it's pretty cool. It's good to see all these Hall of Famers. Pack 22, Dennis. Mark O'Meara. Jack Nicholas, Hale Irwin. Oh, this is a number card. Uh, Paul Laurie, number seventeen eighty five of twenty nine ninety nine. Hey, Bob. Yes, he is. He's on here. Seventeen eighty five of twenty nine ninety nine. That is pack twenty two for Dennis. Twenty three, Justin. We got Larry Nelson, Craig Statler. Uh, Tom Weisskopf, foil card, Tiger Woods, uh, Shot Makers, 
This is pack 23 for Justin. There you go. It's a nice shot. <clears throat> pack 23. All right. 24. That's pack in the box for Steven. Steven, you got Corey Pavin, John Daly, Corey Pavin, and Tom Weitzkopf. There you go. Pack 24. 2001 SP Authentic Golf Box number 3. Thanks, everyone. All right. Two signatures in that box, guys. Two signatures. <laughs> Bob, you're just pushing it for now. All right. Let's continue, shall we? Let's change it up a little bit. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Yes, that's what I want right here. Okay. The worst case is you might have to prove your job or anything else. You just want to show. Well, Alright, so we're looking for 1977 Star Wars Series First Series. Anything in the golf job? Two signatures, no tiger. No tiger signature? No. No, does tiger have a base card in your job? Uh, apparently not. He's in the subset though. I pulled like four of them. Okay, that's cool. They're all four cards. Okay, there's my names. Joe, yes. The uh, the break credits were given out this morning, so check your email. I also send you another one that you won uh, during the Facebook show, it was a ten dollar one. So yeah, I did email you. Check your spam. Uh, it might be there. So uh, the just collect credit, the just collect cards eBay store credit. Uh, I'm going to email everyone. I emailed three people so far uh, How it's going to work how is the best and fastest way to get to get it to work um, So if I didn't email you yet uh, stay uh, tuned for tomorrow as I will email you on how we're going to uh, Get that done for you vintage breaks credit. It's all caught up. So I, I emailed everyone for that from yesterday uh, Mark Mausner Mausner Meissner, I think one the big one. Uh, I just forget who else, but yeah, it's all done. So, pack thirteen on this one. So, Joe, uh, let me check. I can check real quick since I'm here. Right Joe, did you win vintage brace credit or just collect cards credit? Which one? Because there's two. There's different. The vintage breaks one I did. The just collect cards one is different. It's not through vintage breaks. Yeah, Mark Meister got it. <laughs> he definitely spent it. Still doesn't show up. Uh, okay. There you go. Yeah, so Joe, you know, I could probably check the list. I could probably check what place you got. Uh, hold on, Joe. I could check the list. Uh, Midnight Prizes. Joe Cerruto. 17th. Uh, Joe, you got Just Collect Card Credit. It wasn't Vintage Breaks credit. It was for our eBay store at Just Collect Cards. 
Um, so if you didn't get an email today, I'm gonna email you tomorrow how it's gonna happen. Uh, what's the procedure for uh, for you to get that uh, discount, that credit? Uh, so far, I emailed three people. I got like ten other people to email about. I just wanted to get the vintage breaks credits done, which I did. So I'm now hitting the just collect credit. So yes, it's gonna be for an eBay store. Uh, let's say you had a hundred dollars. Um, you will uh, just let me know which card you want uh, up to a hundred dollars, and then we will take it down and we'll ship it out to you because you have that hundred dollar credit. Uh, but just wait for my email tomorrow, Joe. Wait for my email and explain it more. Yeah, you got 17th place last night. Okay, so let's record. What's up, everyone? This is for a 1977 Top Star Wars first series, pack number 13. Good luck to Ivan, Jim, John, and Doug. That's a six. That's all good, Joe. Uh, but I did email you a break credit. Uh... Like two hours ago, Joe, I, I sent you a break credit for ten dollars two hours ago. Check your email. Yeah, it's the AOL.com email, Joe. I sent it to that email, the AOL. So it's for ten dollars for the PSA show. So let me know you got that one. Okay, six times on the random. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. Sounds good, Joe. Um, all right, so there is my list. About. For which one? Uh, hold on. Let me just uh, email. This is for seventy seven top Star Wars. Um, okay. For what year? Is it a personal pack? No, it's the same purpose. I'm not sure it's the same pack number. I'm not sure that's a mistake. I think he just bought personal. Kevin W. Yeah, it's a personal pack. Because he, he bought the first six at 647 and then he purchased the next six at 701. So it's basically a personal pack. Okay. Yeah. Kevin, we got your purchase. Thank you, sir. Okay. Gum side, guys. Gum side. Doug, first card right here. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, oh my. That's not even pink anymore. That is like a, like a muddy, disgusting piece of gum. Ugh. Um, man, I don't even want to touch it. I have to. I wonder if I can save this. Now, how many? So there's a sticker in every pack, but is it part of the break? There's eight cards. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Eight cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it is part of the break. So, Doug, this sticker is part of the break. I wish I could take it off, man. It's just, it's really stuck on there. You might have to freeze it. Put it in the, uh, the freezer. I wish I could take it out so I could save it for my for Mike. It's also on the number one sticker card for Luke. Look how nasty that looks. That's gross. It looks like a piece of meat, actually. I touched it. Ugh. All right. Well, that's card number one. That's a sticker. Going to Doug. Card two. Card number 31, Sighting the Death Star. Card 3, The Little Droid R2-D2. Card number 3, that's, that's awesome. It's card number 3 and also card number 3. Hey, Landon has 83 top space will pack 73 for broken yet today. Landon, let's find out, shall we? 1983. <clears throat> pack 73. It has not yet, Landon, but it's here. Uh, 83 top space will. Let's see if it's in the shoot I'm doing, Landon. Hold on. I don't think it is in the shoot. Maybe second shoot. Uh, as a personal, there you go. Hey, Landon, if you stick around, I'll break it for you. I'll put it in the queue. Next, card four. The droids are reunited. Card number twelve in the set. Uh, Bob, I think it's the first one. B M C B O M C I think. I think it's that one. Just check both. Uh, I'm sure I emailed you. It's so one of those. Card five. Card number two for Doug. Cool, then stick around. Your pack is next. Card six. Luke and Han as stormtroopers. Card number thirty-five in the set. This one is miscut, unfortunately. <laughs> Mark, you got it. I'll queue it up. I'm gonna write PSA already on the poster. Princess Leia captured, card number 10. And the last card in the pack, card number eight. C-3PO and Princess Leia, card 51 in the sets. Unfortunately, also miscuts. Wow. Yeah? I want to do box. Huh? I want to do box. Oh, we have another one? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, also, is that one sell out? The, snap, the bonus snapper? Yeah. It sold out? Yeah. Nice. Wait, who? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, that was your 77 Top Star Wars First Series Pack 13. Thanks, guys. Awesome gun right there in the front. Alright, looks like we did have another SP Authentic Golf Box up. And it's gone. Um, so, sorry guys. I know somebody asked if uh, we had another golf box. We did. It went up and it sold out. Sorry, man. Mark, I'm the same boat, man. I opened up several packs of 83. I, I got a, a Gwyn. I got a box. Have not gotten a Sandberg. It's killing me. Uh... <laughs> Bob, what are you talking about? No soul in me. What? English, please. English. 
I mean, you could talk in Spanish. I'll understand it, but that's not Spanish to me. I don't know what that is. All right, Landon. Well, it's coming up, my friend. Good luck. It's all going to be on the dice and in the pack. <clears throat> so, 1983 tops, number 73. There you go. Okay. Yeah, Mark, I didn't get it either. Bob's going to rewrite it. <laughs> he got lazy. All right. This is for a 1983 Tops Baseball Wax Pack number 73. Good luck to Tim, Heath, Landon, Brian, Zachary, Curtis, Fred, and Ron. Good luck, guys. Here we go. Let's get the five for Johnny Five. Six. I'll take a six. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. There you go. There's the list. All right. So Tim gets the first card, which is, as you guys know already, gum side right here so tim you have the gum card my friend here we go john matlack gum card for tim Yeah, it's very cool. I like the design too on this one, Mark. Card two for Ron. Tom Lawless. Tom Lawless. It's a nice looking card right there. Card three. Chris Spear. So you have a little print defect on the bottom left right over there, Brian. Card four. Landon, this is your card. What do you got? Matt Keoff. Matt Keoff. Card five. Tim. Fred Stanley. Hey, Kevin, I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it yet, but it's sold out. So um, I'm going to do it next. Let's give a little wax stain right there. Card six, Brian. Johnny Ray. Johnny Ray. Mark, I have not opened the Michigan test. Never heard of it. Card seven for Landon. Good luck, Landon. Nice. Lance Parrish. It's a good ball player. Keoff Mary Playman of the Month. Wow. <laughs> Did not know that. Thanks for the facts on that one, Kevin. Card eight, uh, Fred, Dave Kingman. So Fred Wist, check your email. I de you definitely want break credit, vintage break credit, vintage breaks credit. Check your email. And when you do, just click on the print button and there should be a prompt. The code is on the right hand side in the middle. Um, it starts with P-R-O. Just copy that whole code and put it in the checkout uh, where it says apply promo code. And it'll reduce your total by the amount. Card nine, Brian, Pat Corrales. So 
So Kevin, I'm assuming maybe November, Miss November. I'm just a guessing on it. I don't know if you know, but card ten, Zachary, Luis, Tiant. Hey, there's Dom. What's up, Dom? Hey, Steven. Uh, 79 Toss Basketball, 53. I know I did 79 Basketball. I did 79 Basketball, 52. So 53 should be in the shoot somewhere. I did 52. Uh, yeah, I did 52. And then 89 Protect. Upper deck. What what number? What number, Steven? I need a number on that 89 upper deck pack. Card 11 for Fred. Rennie Martin. <clears throat> I thought it would be Remy Martin, but it's Rennie. Rennie Martin. You got a little top right corner wear on that. 12. Larry. His, his, Hiles, his name, Hizzle, I have no idea who it is, <laughs> I have no idea, the real housewives, I mean, I don't watch that, uh, card 13 for Tim, Tug McGraw, uh, times to try it on packs wrapped in foil rather than wax wrapper. It gives me the same as what everything is done. Oh, okay. I know. I have not seen that. It's, it must be rare. So it was the same cards, right? In those foil packs? Same same cards, same runs. Mike Jorgensen. Car 14 for Curtis. Oh, it was a blonde lady uh, for the ZZ Top video. I, I don't know why I remember that. She had blonde hair. Lee Elia, card 15. I don't even listen to ZZ Top, but for some reason I remember that video. There you go, guys. 1983 Toss Baseball Wax Pack 73. In the books. I love rock and roll. Da 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 da. <laughs> Jamie, I will admit it, man. If I watch something, I'll admit it. I have no shame in it. I just, I never watched. The Real Housewives. I actually saw a couple of episodes of The Real uh, Husbands of Hollywood. The Real House Husbands or something like that with uh, Kevin Hart. It was on Netflix, so I just started like watching a few episodes. Pretty funny. Stephen K. I need a pack number on that uh, 89 per deck. I'm about to do one right now. It's pack 53. Is that the one you're looking for as well? I don't know, Steven. Maybe it is this one. Let's find out. But first, let's do the uh, giveaway. Winner take all. Guys, the winner take all is done. This is going to be a uh, winner takes all with, with Hank Aaron MVP. Does that fit? Does not fit. Uh, I'm just going to put with Hank Aaron. In the year is, I believe it's 16 one tops.
-hmm. There we go. Perfect. All right, guys. This is oh, great, Steven. This is for a winner takes all uh, with a sixty-one Hank Aaron MVP card. We needed 35 entries <clears throat> at $10. We have filled it up. So one person is going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine vintage cards with stars and Hall of Famers and a free spot in the 73 Tops football set break. So here's a little uh, quick see through. There it is. There's Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth, 62 Tops, Gil Hodges. Fleer, uh, Ted Williams, Joe Green, Frank Tarkenton, George Blanda, Larry Sanka, and Joe Perry. Winner takes all. Here we go. <clears throat> First person on top of the list after randomizing nine times. <laughs> Good luck, Kevin. All right. Kevin, you literally have one spot in this. Wow. All right. Good luck, man. <laughs> Good luck. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. It's tomorrow. 75 baseball set breaks tomorrow, guys, along with the 86 Fleer basketball break. Five. Six. Seven. Who's on top at eight? I wonder. Bill B. Here we go. Winner. Winner takes all. This is going to be the ninth random. One person wins everything. And the winner is Dean Carstrom, who only had one spot as well. <laughs> Dean, Dean Carstrom. Kevin, I was rooting for you, bro. I was rooting for you. The only other person who had one spot in it, and he won it. That's crazy. All right, Dean, congrats, man. You had a, a tight squeeze on that one. So, Dean Carlstrom. Hope you're watching, Dean. Uh, the 65 set break will be next week. Next week after Christmas, guys. Uh, it just it takes it just sold out this morning, so we have to prep it. So we're not gonna get it in time. So it'll be next week. All right. Dean. That's all you, my friend. Dean Carstrom. Hey, I'm going to email myself your set break spots. Done. Whew, there you go. Kevin, enjoy dinner, man. Have a good night. Thanks for participating in the winner takes all. Good job, Dean. Good job. All right, guys. I'm going to do one more pack. And we're going to call that a, a night. Mark. <laughs> no, man. I don't think we're doing a Christmas morning break. Uh, Nah, I, I'll be drunk. I wouldn't be able to do it. I don't know about Mikey, but... I'll be drunk off eggnog. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> okay, let's get this. 1989. Pack 53. Who was asking? Stephen K. You're in this one, Stephen. Okay, let's record. Vintage Breaks is brought to you by Gatorade. Let's quench your thirst. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying, Mark. You feel me. All right, let's record our last pack for the day. 
This is for a 1989 Upper Deck Low Pack Series, number 53. Looking for that Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like our videos, comment below. Uh, you know, you want to be a part of the breaks, go to VintageBreaks.com. Make sure you register. It's free. And you start adding spots to your cart. And you check out. And then uh, if you subscribe, you'll know when we go live so we can break your pack. All right. Let's randomize the list. Seven. Love it. And then the night and seven. Let's go, Mark. Let's do it. Let's get that Griffey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stephen K with the first card. Okay, let's email this to Victoria. She's all set for that. And Casey, that's the second time I've seen you get the last card, Casey, in the pack. Which you know is going to be the wax, but this doesn't have wax. So lucky you. Uh, all right, Stephen. First card will be right here, right on top. I'm just going to leave it like that. First card up, Mr. Doyle Alexander for Steven. Nice looking, uh, nice looking card. Look at the center on this one. Card two, Dave Clark for the Indians. Dave Clark. Card three, Joe McGreen. Joe McGreen. McGreen. I'm going to say it's McGreen. Joe McGreen. Card four, Ricky Horton. Ricky Horton. Tim, I don't have like a set I'm working on. I just randomly get cards here and there. Not, you know, I'm not a collector collector or anything like that. But yeah, you know, I, I got a few cards here and there. Mostly Cowboys. Pete Stanchek. Jamie, no snapper right now, man. It, so, it filled up already. Uh, we only got the 50 and the $100 snapper. Uh, that's it. Which you guys know, the uh, the hundred dollar snapper is the T206 Frank Chance, red background portrait variation, PSA 2.5, and it has the Piedmont back. Uh, we need 150 entries for this one. Top five get prizes, and then the fifty dollar snapper is the 33 Gaudi Mickey Cochran PSA three. What? That's all. That's not great. Did, yeah, I don't know. Did I, saw, I saw an email. Oh, never mind. This filled up. Didn't even see the email. That one sold. It's just a hundred dollar one right now, Jamie. Well, you still give me entries for for next one. Yeah, but if you do spend fifty dollars, it gets rolled over to the next one. So don't worry. You can still spend fifty bucks. You still get it. Tim, why do I have to be a collector? I don't, get, I don't understand. At least I have cards, you know? What if I said I don't collect at all? What if I said I don't, I hate cards, and period? I think that would make you feel worse, wouldn't it? Or maybe I don't like sports at all. Like, that, that would be a lot worse. Bob Stanley. But I do collect um, trading card games. Like, trading, like, uh... You know, like Magic, or I used to play a lot of Magic. Um, uh, what else I used to play? When I was younger, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, uh, Lord of the, what's it called? Lord of the Five Rings. Uh, I, I love strategy card games. So I do collect those kind of cards. So I know how to treat cards. <laughs> All right, Tim. 
You send them right over, my friend. Alice Burks, card seven. The uh, the little holograms flew off here. I got the Mets and the Brewers. Mets and Brewers. Tim, have you seen the payouts? Have you seen the payouts for playing Magic in a tournament? Dude, it's a lot of money. Like, it's in the hundreds of thousands for coming for first place in tournaments. Magic is no joke. Eric Plunk. I think there was like a, a million dollar purse for one tournament several years ago. Um, at that point, I stopped playing Magic because it got too expensive. But it's crazy, dude. Like, Magic is crazy out there. For the competitive scene. Steve Lombardozzi for the Twins. Card number nine for Steven. Not necessarily, man. Not, well, if you win a lot, yeah, you do have a lot of money. But, you know, I tried. I got, like, top ten a couple times. But competition is hard. It's, it's stiff, man. Sherman Corbett. Eleven, Fernando Valenzuela. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, magic, uh, uh, Friday Night Magic is called. Everybody in the country plays Magic Friday nights. Local shops, tournaments, and then there's regionals uh, around the country, and then there's the world tournament. Gene Walter. <laughs> yes, I have a, a beautiful girlfriend and I retire from magic. Yeah. Would I go back to magic? Probably not. It just it, it gets very expensive. Especially if you want to like be competitive, you gotta get the best cards and they're not cheap at all. Yeah, pretty much worked out for me. I'm one of those lucky nerds. Mike Felder. 14. Oh. German Jimenez. Jimenez. Garmin Jimenez. And the last card, Rod Scurry. No Griffey, unfortunately, guys. Ah, uh, Casey, there's your rat skirt. That is your 1989 upper deck number 50, pack number 53. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> so, if you walk in there, it's not that awkward. They, they're just very competitive. They're all nice and tight, holding their cards, playing. You send it, uh, uh <laughs> Mark, you, don't, you you can fit it, man. Anybody can fit in there. We're not judgy. We don't, we don't do that stuff. Anybody's welcome. But they're sharks. I'll tell you that much. They're sharks. When it comes to the cards, the value, the retail value, how much you, you know, trading and stuff like that, they are sharks, my friend. Okay, guys. <laughs> You're just not used to it, Mark. That's all. But hey, at least they have card savers. Yeah, you know, those local shops have it because of Magic and other expensive card games like that. So that you need it. There's nine pocket sleeves, everything. Tim, I suggest you go one day, tell them you want to try magic, somebody teach you, I guarantee you have fun. Trust me, you have fun. Uh, all right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, thank you for sticking around after the PSA show, breaking some packs for you. Uh, it's been real, it's been fun. <laughs> Tim, stop it, stop it, Tim. 
Uh, all right, so uh, have a good night, guys. Tim, Mark, everybody else. Uh, Landon, Jeff, Jamie, everybody. Uh, Jamie, awesome. Glad you got your package, man. <laughs> Glad you had fun. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll be on for our prime night. We're going to have the 75 Tots baseball set break, the 86 Fleer basketball set break, uh, along with catching up with PAX. Um, and then you guys, uh, you know, we'll have fun with Mike tomorrow. Magic Mike. Although he doesn't want to be Magic Mike anymore. I think he has a new name or something. Um, all right, guys. Peace out. We'll see you tomorrow.